Rich Voss has joined the program with Patrice O'Neill. I miss nice. Rich. I haven't seen him in a I long time. I haven't done this we've with been, Patrice. We've been arguing um, the Rich Voss New Year's Eve thing that happened to him. Yeah. Well, tell the people out there. What happened? Yeah. Uh, you had a gig I at Mohegan Sun, stage, right? Yeah, I get off stage, and Bonnie's uh, going down on, on the booker in the dressing room. <laughs> <laughs> and I wanted the money, so I'm not going to say, hey, stop. Uh, it might as well have been that. Huh? <laughs> no, that would have been exciting. You were uh, you were booked at a casino? Yeah, I was booked. And uh, and they told you at the last minute that uh, you're going to have to stay up the street. Because they the need street. the room because New Year's Eve is a very hot night. And we I, all and know. Already, we understand I, that part of that. I already It was already sold out. Right. I already sold out. So you said, okay, and you you took a shitty room up the street instead of having well, no, a nice room, room in the casino. Whoa, 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 whoa. Don't, the room wasn't shitty, but it was up the street. The yeah. shitty part it's, was it was up the street. Shitty. It's, that's shitty. Yeah. That's the, shitty. The room Cause, cause, at the casino shitty. Like, yeah. Uh, <laughs> like, but, how can the room but not in the casino not be shitty? <laughs> at least you're in the casino, yes. and you wake up, and you don't have to put a winter coat on to get in a fucking cold car to go do your gig. I, it would, and, and if it was summer, who and, cares? And drive the host. <laughs> and, uh, right. You've been, you've been in the business the way too long to no, deal with that shit. I would say, guess that, what? You don't get me a room in the casino. I'm out. I see. I and certain Patrice times. would do they, that. Yeah, but you exact know, thing. as a businessman, at certain times you can make certain calls, and certain times you can't. Do, I, I could. I have a feeling agent. you do this a lot, though. No, I feel. Thank you, Patrice. What? He's nodding. I feel like you compromise a lot. Yeah, right. I do compromise because I have to compromise when you're in my position. When you have. Three kids. Sometimes I say no. Fuck. Rich, I say, you're a really fuck funny guy. What's that? You're a funny guy. Oh, God, did I kill this weekend. You were booked at a casino. Mm -hmm. If you told them last minute, I'm not doing the gig unless you find me a nice fucking warm room in the casino, they're going to find you a room. Here's the difference. I sold 350 seats out. At that same casino, Chelsea Handler sold 9,000 tickets. Well, right? she, well she's so, hot. Really yeah, hot. 9,000 in the arena. She's a major. She's, a, she's the face of an entire network. Right? I know. She's, she's extremely hot right now, and, and it doesn't hurt that she's funny. Yeah, I'm not so, going to go with the good-looking so thing, because I, I don't see the fucking good-looking thing. You shouldn't qualify the respect you have for yourself with, with, with where you think you are in the business. Don't let people fucking, you know, put, Sometimes put a label on you, though. Don't put a label. Listen, you didn't need that money Brad was paying you. Oh, you know, really? Because I know how much Brad pays. That that money can never change your life on any level. You got that. Will you quit talking like Malcolm X? That fucking <laughs> money. All right, then. Yes, that money. <laughs> that, that money. All right, I'll okay. stop talking like oh, a man. motherfucker, oh, like Malcolm X that's trying to help you to stop this ridiculous nonsense. Yeah, Patrice okay. knows more than I, obviously. I'm not in that business. But Brad seems... Axelrod is not paying you enough to not say no to him. Right. It's, that's it. It seems ridiculous that you would go, okay, I'll take a room up the street. Well, no offense. Here's I here's like, here's I like the... Brad, but he's a one-nighter guy. You're right. He's yeah. not a, it's not a relationship that should make you go... You should say fucks, man. Are you serious? I'm already taking, I'm taking blows to the gut. <laughs> yeah, Call 100%. the fight, nigga. It's just like stay home and Here's hug your daughter. Hug, hug her today. You, I, stop I, using her tuition as an ex. <laughs> stop <laughs> using Brad's two dollars and seventy cent gig, and then trying to pimp language by saying I'm gonna pay my daughter's well, tuition. First of all, I, that's bullshit. No, Yankee, it's not bullshit because you know. Wait, first of all, Yank your daughter's you, out of college too. It's a waste of time. I, I, who I, you telling? Who you telling? I, I, I didn't go to school. Look how I, good things I, are I've, going for me. I've oh, changed well. my opinion on college big time in the last year or two. It's ridiculous. With this fucking with this fucking debt they're giving these kids. And they work for the school. They're a hundred easy hundred thousand yeah. in debt without a job when they get out, they and then they're work working the at the local fucking, fucking pizza and joint. The, and the only way they're going to get work is if they know somebody or somebody it's, knows somebody. It's a crock of shit. And where the game is now, you need a fucking degree to work for fucking Burger King. Like yeah, it's yeah, a, yeah. you need something to. They're all make in you, on it. Everybody needs a job. They're all in on it. Then. You see, fuck. What's the thing? Capitalism, a love story. There yeah. was yeah. one mm. part I I keep bumping into all the time is our pilots. Get paid jack shit. We mean, they, they mean, give blood to people that that crash in Buffalo. Mm -hmm. They were they had them on the black box talking about not making money. Yeah, yeah. They were making one bitch made six thousand, sixteen thousand. Yeah, I was gonna year. say they make less yeah. than twenty thousand a fly. Giving yeah. blood, give those fucking guys a hundred thousand all day long. And they have well, to get a second long. job just to pay their bills. Some tired motherfucker got me up 35,000 feet. Right. It's it's insane, man, what they're doing to people. Uh, so uh, the only thing you got left, really, is to stay home and enjoy the shit that's going to be taken from you soon. <laughs> 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 you got nice we're, staying, we're, 
We're staying. You got a nice TV at home? I got a good TV. Uh, I, my fireplace. I found a place to get firewood. All right, that's all you need. Tons fire. Of firewood. You need a fireplace uh, and a nice TV. You're set. Uh, and, and and yank your fucking daughters out of college. We stayed last night, and I. Can you at, please at, not chew and, and um, talk at the same time? We stayed last night. I know we all do at it, a but hotel. For some reason, when you do it, it's really fucking. <laughs> this is already disgustingly it's already a problem awful. When his mouth is completely clear. <laughs> yeah, thank you, Patrice. Of debris, nigga, just finish. <laughs> Come stop on. looking me up and down. Just fucking. <laughs> I just see you in a while. Just stop looking me up and down. I didn't see you in Patrice looks like an old school burglar today or something. You got some tools in your back pocket? I think I'm across on 110th Street. I'm in a worse spot than Voss, but I ain't going to take that gig from Brad. No. You're not in a worse spot than Brad. I'll you up, nigga. I'm robbing a car. There's banks up the street. Fuck it. Three meals a day. I'll take that. What were you saying, Rich? I'm sorry. We're staying in a hotel. It's so clear. Now, I, sometimes you don't know who to tip and where to tip. The oh, dude comes boy. to my room. It's crazy. He comes to my room, knocks on the door t to tell me well, he's my butler. Okay. Wow, right? you're staying do in I, nice joint. Do I tip him for telling me he's yeah. my butler? Uh, yeah, you throw him money, especially if you're going to use him for something. Well, don't you do that at the end when you're checking out? No, no. Because well, it's different you want, people. Here's what What's it is. Your, if you want good service, you tip him at the beginning. If you want shitty service, then you tip him at the end. But when I use him, but what will he to do my? Well, I don't, that's just it. Then, then you yeah. know. What do you give your butler when you, you go to throw him a few? Huh? Right away. Right away, I peel off a hundred the second he walks in the room. Now is he is he blowing you the whole time you're there for a hundred dollar tip? Uh, he knows he's getting more. Like, cause then every time he brings something, you throw him a little more extra. Well, you gave a you give a hundred just to walk in the door, just out to just, just boom, just to be like hi. Well, cause you're, you're a butter? high roller here. Right, but that's yeah. casino stuff though. What's yeah. that? That's casino stuff. That's the casino. Guy. Isn't that what he's talking about? No, no. I, I, I think he, New York. I, I think Rich is just butler. talking butler basic shit. What butler? I've never been to a hotel in New York with a butler. Well, you haven't been to the one we're staying at. It's oh, St. Regis? Huh? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> this hotel. Why do you have such a nice hotel? We you usually were, are on we the did, cheap. We did a benefit, and and they it, set you up with a nice no, hotel? Not only that, we did a portrait, which Bonnie and the, Bonnie, what? it's like a $6,000 package. You get, do this portrait in, in the studio downstairs, and, you know, and me, Bonnie, and the baby are doing this portrait, and it's something we would never do. And, you know, they, then they want to come to your house and look at what wall to put it on and what colors what and all that. What are you oh, doing? You know, oh, look Jesus. at just... What's going on? Well, it's, it's, this, it, wait, 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 is it a painting? I don't even know what yes. the fuck is going on. How do you follow? you following this? They're painting. I got it. Why? Why? Because hold because on, hold on. They're can you explain to me? I got How it. He's at a really nice hotel because he did a benefit, and part of the package is they do a portrait. So him, Bonnie, and his uh, little girl are getting painted? No, they take the picture and they like paint Scarface? over it. And they, and they make it look over. like a painting. Like, yeah, like, then, a, like a painting. Oh, it's a fucking... And it's then a, you it's a, a, a $5,000. You got to see this thing. And then you're going to hang it no. in your house somewhere? Yeah, but they want to come to your do. house. What they do it's is they tracing take, paper. No, they no. take the picture. Right. Yeah. And then they digitally fucking Photoshop it to look like a painting. No, no, you got to see it. <laughs> and it's I'm done not, in two seconds. How'd they pull out some paint? And they pull it out of a giant printer. Listen, in your fucking Guido Villa at home on Long Island, that's what you might hang out. Guido Villa. I would have to say, I would have to say, spectacular home. There's only one Guido thing in his house. What, the statue without the arms? No. <laughs> That's pretty, I like that because I, I, I feel it might one. be real. <laughs> if it had arms and it was peeing, I, that yeah. would bother me. Fucking <laughs> wish. You, you have a black, shiny table in there that, uh, that I would get rid of. But is that the only green? shiny table. Like a, uh, like a Formica. That? Really? Where is that? In the dining room when you walk into the right. It's like a... He doesn't even know what he has in this house. It's from Micah. Mm, yeah. Oh, the one in the dining room. Yeah, you probably never see it. In the dining room? Yes. Yeah. Is that from Micah? Wait, wait. Is, is it right when you walk in the front room? To the, to the right. right. To the right. Yeah, that's supposed to be something for, you know, we keep in the dining room for dishes. What do they call that thing? <laughs> Why would you? Yeah. I don't for have dishes. dishes. It's called... <laughs> Fill up the space with yeah. stuff. How many times a year does Danny make you dinner that you need dishes? <laughs> you got hey, Danny you got, makes a good fucking beer can chicken. Wait, you got the you got the fancy plates? No, it's in just a wall a, unit. It's that thing that goes Fuck in that there. Fuck that China and, shit. And and you put the fucking china in it. 
It's called a hutch. I was looking a for hutch every, I, was looking, I was looking for everything I could to hate about your house. Hey. I was so jealous, but it's just so nice. It's really yeah, nice. I, 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 I love it. It's one of those things where it's yeah. like, ah. You have nobody. Other. I'm going to start coming over. I you, say you should. Come on over. Well, there goes but your Rich. property value. Rich, <laughs> why was the portrait part? That was racist, wasn't it? Yeah, but exactly. so. Go Rich, ahead. why was the portrait part of the package? I still don't get that part of it. Because they don't pay you, so they have somebody digitally put you on a piece of paper. To that was the was thing. The, when you spend expensive. for this portrait, they're five to ten. Why would you do that? When well, a, no one needs a portrait. And no one buys that portrait. Who buys that except for fucking... Rick people that have, the, like, big the, the, the Slippingtons. <laughs> 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 fucking... I know. No one buys those. Why are you, why are you being with his fucking white trans Canadian uh, wife? You're being shady. Why are you... Why did you... Why are you part of this package deal? When we did the benefit... In, in Miami for the blind, we did a benefit at the Rich Carlton down there. Right. Should have done one for the days. deaf. <laughs> I did. Uh, <laughs> he's on fire now. Yeah. Oh, it's Monday kinda... morning. He got some rest this weekend. Kind of so funny. When, when did you do it? Kind of Rich. We did, the fuck, uh, we did the benefit, I don't know, a couple of weeks ago. And then, you know, we bid on the, uh, we bid on the, on the you know, the stay uh. at the Regis and stuff. And, you know, we, uh, we you're up to some shady shit. What's going on? Yeah, he, the, I don't even know what's going on. There's some know. shady shit. Going. Well, Rich is always wheeling and dealing. And you're wheeling and dealing. He what has the, to stop. Listen, something's going on. You, Rich, if you don't make it, it's discouraging to if. me. Like I, I need Rich to make it to let me know that I can. Like that there's a chance. I don't want to see this 57 year old man. Still trying to be like relevant the same way thing. he was 20 years ago. He comes in <laughs> with these hats and he comes in dressed like, like he's getting ready to punch raw meat, like he's training for something, and he's he's just he makes me sick with this with this scamming. I can't not do a Brad Axelrod attitude. Like, hey, you don't know what it's like. I do know what the fuck is like. No, you don't. You, th what are you talking about? Oh, you got it easy, man. Get, Why? Uh, why? You have a, a, a beautiful girl. You don't have responsibility. She's working, right? Is your girlfriend working? Yeah. All right. Mine isn't. Uh, why she's is working it, on why a movie. Why isn't fucking Bonnie working? She's working on a movie, editing And Rich, nonstop. why aren't you saying your wife's beautiful? She's very beautiful. Well, you she said uh, Patrice has a beautiful woman. Yeah, but you he have a beautiful to do it woman. Bonnie. Yeah, Bonnie's yeah. gorgeous. Yeah, that and Bonnie can make money anytime yeah, she Bonnie. wants. She has more credits than Rich. <laughs> she does. Like, better credits. She has a fucking special <laughs> on got, HBO. I I got, you don't have V1. Uh, what do you mean? HBO's oh, V HBO? special. Like, right in now, your opinion. Right now, an hour Comedy Central specials are the special. They, they hand those my out. My mailman has a special. Specials aren't special anymore. Yes, no. they are. They if are. it's on HBO, it is. That's his What's point. It? On yeah. Comedy Central, they hand those, right, that I, shit out. I did out. HBO. Yeah. I did it way before any of you guys. Yeah, you did it the first white guy, but it was on a seven-second spot. Bonnie no, did a special. She yeah, has she more credits. All right, so she has so a Why don't you fucking stay home? I would love and to. And work and edit and let and her can, work. She can make I, more money. She's probably famous in Canada. Let her fucking go there for three months and listen, goddamn work. Bonnie isn't famous on her farm, okay? <laughs> All right. Farm. And no one, I can see what he did. He yeah. fucking, it's he cannot though. stand. It's funny, though. And I probably would do the same no, thing. If no, my girl hey, was listen. a comic and had better credentials, yeah, I yeah. would probably try to poison her mind and think she yeah. should quit. What, are you kidding me? I would fill her full of hot fucking... He's got to go put her down credit. all the time. Hot, career, career, right. and then love juice, plug her full of hot lead, walk around hot, with a kid, hot, get hot. tired, and then fucking <laughs> take Brad Axelrod fucking meetings to... to I, hey, I get Bob. what he did. I get uh, what he did. If you see the... Uh, what she's doing with, this, make, with and, this movie. And convince her she's, that yeah. $5,000 shitty paintings are fucking something. It's great. What, you think that we're hanging that up? We're not, yes, we're you not, are, I Rich. guarantee we don't hang it up. I'm going to tell you, you why you're going to hang, hang it up. Because huh? exa you For told the story. For when we get a bigger place, when we get a bigger, nicer place. You don't hang it up in a townhouse. How are you going to get just, a bigger, nicer place? What's the plan? What's the plan? We're making a movie right now that I got $33,000 into already, okay? That's the plan. You really shouldn't spread. You shouldn't Say that you got thirty three thousand dollars. Right, it's and about You should just say I got a movie <laughs> and, 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 in the world. I'm gonna take all you don't need a I portrait to What's help it? Rich. Yeah, anything I have, I'm helping Rich. Fuck, fuck it. I'm you done with you my You don't career. even call me back. What are you talking about? Because <laughs> I don't want to be sadder than I am. <laughs> I'm happy. I'm going to play will golf you, in a couple weeks. Oh, I just will you like, stop with I'm the not, fucking I'm, life is a? Stop trying the to whole, see the best in life. You You're not a glasses half full guy, asshole. I, I I've known you for years. I am not. Yeah, stop trying <laughs> to make deals with God because you see it all falling <laughs> to pieces. Listen, I, listen. I have my health. I think I haven't had an MRI. 
in a while. <laughs> I think that's that's good. Actually, that's a great way to go through life. I, uh, you know, I'm with you. What else? Are you I think I'm healthy. Do? You know, you know this business. There's ups, there's downs, there's good times. You know, you know the deal. There was a time me and Patrice were walking down the street, and I looked at him. I go, I have not absolutely anything going on in my career, and he he says, me too. Do you remember how? And then two years later, we're both doing great. Now, okay, things have fallen a little. They go up and down. You know, it's the it's the stock market. Listen, That's what our I'm careers saying. aren't parallel. I just <laughs> trying to make <laughs> you feel really better. China. No, they're not. <laughs> Throw you two in the same boat. How, what, you don't Voss think, is on drugs. Uh, <laughs> you see his you, eyes? You don't, Voss listen. is on fucking methamphetamines. <laughs> Voss has a drug problem, and that's why he's fucking working so fucking if hard, I had, man. Really? If I had a drug problem, do you really think I'd be wearing this? this that's your been last so, thing you're going to sell. Really? No, that's the last thing I'm going to sell. He <laughs> <laughs> pointed to his ass. His fucking ass. <laughs> fucking rich. Fucking <laughs> 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 rich. <laughs> <laughs> nah, fuck All right, it, I don't know. He's up to some shady shit. That's He's up to know. something. Voss is up to something. <laughs> I, I, I've known him long enough to know he loves to wheel and deal. He's like Al Pacino in in, in a. And uh, 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 Johnny Donnie Brasco. Oh, Donnie he's just, Brasco. He's, just, he's never. He's just up to something all the he's, time. He's the king of bartering. We'll he knows how to barter anywhere. this motherfucker. God, he's up to something. <laughs> you trade services for all sorts of weird shit. It's fun, man. A portrait, though. Ugh. I I know. Hey, listen, we wanted just the room. We didn't want the portrait. portrait. That has to look so gaudy. Oh, just, just like maybe a nice picture yeah. of the family. I understand that, but when it gets to a portrait, he probably picks uh, a bad frame. A classic. Yeah, yeah. I mean, they want to come sell me a frame. I can get a frame on <clears throat> oh, Craigslist, God. man. They're going to come. They want to sell me the frame. You know, that's going to be a thousand dollars. What are you kidding me? A nice frame, huh? I get a frame. I get frames why everywhere, man. You go to a garage sale, get a frame. frame. I, did you hear what he said? What? Yeah. What did you, you just doing? hear? Did you hear what he just said? Get one at a garage sale. You can go so. to a garage. Like yeah. th this get is a frame. It's the. Point. I wouldn't even know how to go to a garage sale. And you know what? It's, <laughs> he does though. It's too well, late. Obviously not by what you're wearing. <laughs> it doesn't matter what I'm wearing, Rich. No, we're on radio. It's too late. Okay, thank it's you. too fucking late for him to change too. Like if what if if somebody cuffed him, like you know, if somebody just said fuck it i'm i'm here and one of these guys like you know like louis or or, or colin says fuck it i'm cuffing rich it, they won't be able to uplift him like rich is what he is he's man. just there's no it, he's not no gonna, he's not gonna take class pointers but like, he's not gonna about? do it it's the proverbial dog he's gonna go to a fucking a garage Porsche. sale <laughs> So he's gonna buy that oh, oh. shitty BMW. He yeah, said yeah. that he well, tried to pass off no. as, as sexy, he, and I'm just like, this shit is. He said, he said Porsche. Now explain the Porsche you got. Well, I got a, a Porsche Boxster. What are you I talking about? Here, he has. Well, I bought it two. It was two years old when I bought it. You know what he has? What kind of Porsche he has? And I mean, this is my nigga. I love Ross. Yeah. <laughs> he has the the highest level Toyota <laughs> yeah. Porsche. So it's the right, lowest right, right. level Porsche, Listen, the lowest level or Porsche. the highest level Toyota. Right, that's the Get same car. Get the highest level Toyota. Right. Why for, are you getting this shitty for, Porsche? It's not, are you crazy? <laughs> that you can't even drive your friends in. It's a selfish car. That's why I got it. You're not a fan of the selfish car. It's a selfish car. I got a truck. If you in trouble, man, Patrice, come get us. Right. Get me the whole and my family. whole family are stuck. Right. Voss, come help. You I have can't. An SUV my too? shitty. Selfish car. You have a selfish SUV, you. man. <laughs> I, have my, I know what kind of car you got, man. I got an SUV. It's a BMW. I love the concept of the selfish car. It's just, I love it, man. It's just a car that's not. He's not. He's not. He don't have well, any you don't friends. Think, you don't think if I got tons of money, I wouldn't go out and blow it and buy shit? Of course I would. I what little money I do get, I go out and buy dumb shit. I would get if I had money, I'd get the nicer Porsche. Okay, but you know what? I could only have gotten that one at the time. Okay? Voss Va likes having things. Yeah, damn. You're right. We don't like having things, but you like having things. Yeah, it's just You fun. go a little too far with having things. I know. I got... Like, like he knows he's bullshit. You could go buy a pair of sneakers, and that fills the emptiness right here. Okay, he he goes out and buys shit because he's lonely and depressed. All right, all right. These sneakers, I didn't need them, but they're pro kids. They're you know, and it was twenty nine bucks on some <laughs> website. And when it's I always, bought them, it's always it's, from a uh, website. You got to go to this like, new website. It's called <laughs> Everything's on Sale, like high end shit. It's okay? always a website. So you buy something, you feel good for it's, a few moments and then you realize let me see your pro cats oh these are they're leather these ones are leather who gives a fuck who gives a fuck 
Yes. I did at the moment when I bought I, it. I understand that. Okay. It's... I got, you know, you might have a set of golf clubs. I have three because I like to sit online and buy shit. <laughs> That's <laughs> what I do. Uh, oh. Buying shit is fun. It's fun. And then when it comes to your house, you're all like, Wait. oh. Yeah, you know you got a package yeah, coming. Yeah, <laughs> you know? yeah. Open that yeah, thing up and you're never, like, ooh. You've never been to Rich Voss's <laughs> house. He's, he's got weird shit in his house. I've heard his house is like a museum. <laughs> yeah. And I think you like those like home old furniture <laughs> and shit. So is my act. Yeah. <laughs> Rich, do you, uh, uh, you watch the home shopping shows on TV? Does that get you off a little bit? What do you mean? The ones where they <laughs> fix stuff up? No, like they're selling... This. No, not that, that shit. That's, that's bullshit. All that's right. all fake. So you're not that far in. No, I wouldn't buy that shit. I just like going online and, you know, like, what the fuck? You know, I got on my credit card, I have enough points to get something. I just don't know what I'm going to get when I'm going to get it, but I know I'm getting something. I don't even know how many points I got. <laughs> I do. I know how many I got. I'm going himself. on 26,000 points, and that's a new putter. How I don't you, need a new putter. How do we find out how many points it? we got? 26,000. I'll, I'll find out right now. I think how I many have, points you have? I think yeah, I how do you do it? Like half a million points on each card. How do you do it? I'll, I'll do you it got, right now. I know. You got to go to your... Uh, yeah, you got to go to your Amex you, online yeah. thing. I don't know how to do that. Well, yes, because you got that kind of money. You have See, people. I've had a American Express card for what does it say? Member since '01. All right, so ten oh, years. You, I've never used any. I don't points. know if they I had no points idea. back then, did they? You probably got I a lot of points. No clue. I don't know. I don't How even know you where you look do for you the ever points. Use that thing. You have the cleanest asshole. It looks like it hasn't been through one they, machine. Asshole, they get, give you a new one every once in a while. This one just came in. Oh, it did? Yes, I fucking use my credit card. Oh, look Believe at me, that I'm hurt using my credit card. Did that hurt you opening your wallet just now? <laughs> wow, a joke from seven years ago. <laughs> it doesn't matter. It's a callback. <laughs> <laughs> right, I, use, I, I spend a, a little more now. Are you a frugal gentleman, though? Not as, not as bad as I used to be. But yeah, certainly. I, I've been caught being pretty frugal over the years. <laughs> caught, caught being Not his frugal. wedding, though. Yeah, that wedding, That was some real shit. I, the, your ban at your wedding cost more than my house. <laughs> you really did have a fucking Ben Stiller movie wedding. <laughs> <laughs> it was unbelievable. His, his cocktail party was just ridiculous. I well, thought that was the whole wedding. Well, that was. it was all fun until we got dropped from all those markets as I was planning that, and then I had to go to the wedding planner and say, slow the fuck down. It got scary. Wedding uh, planner? We had Bonnie's aunt. <laughs> put, us, put us in a hotel with a buffalo. Always, <laughs> always. I feel so bad for my friend, Rich. I just feel bad. He's, why? He's, I'm smiling, man. I feel bad. It's a for fake all smile, Rich. We all I feel bad for our whole crew. <laughs> the whole crew. A whole crew. The whole bunch of you. A whole bunch. A whole right. bunch. Why don't we? Uh, why don't we break Let's and take a break. get into some shit? Let's take a you, you watch uh, football long, over the weekend, Rich? Break. Some of it. Yeah, a little. You, you see I, any movies lately? Yeah. We'll do some movies and we'll do some sports oh, now. So, I'll tell you my best I movie. I love a tweet on that. What? You no, want? after the break, you'll tell oh, us okay, your favorite I can movie. Tease. This is called a teaser. All right, what is the tease? Uh, fucking Winner's Bone. I just gave away the movie. That's not a tease. <laughs> oh, I was going to tell him how good it was. <laughs> <laughs> and then he says how good it was. The Opie and Anthony Show. This is the Opie and Anthony Show. Opie and Anthony. Talking to Patrice O'Neill, Rich Voss. <laughs> Where's Rich going to be? Because Patrice has retired officially. He's so lucky. But Rich is still on the road. Where are you going to be, Rich? This weekend, catch a rising star? Yeah, Providence. Providence, Rhode Island, all right. Yeah. And, and then uh, next week, yeah, in Harrisburg at the Comedy Zone. The Comedy Zone. The Comedy Zone. You guys Harrisburg. Watch, you guys watch the football? Yeah. How I enjoy it. Patrice is a big uh, Pats fan, right? Uh, yes. <clears throat> I am a Patriots fan. My Jets squeaked one out. They over the certainly Colts. did. They, they certainly did. I would love to be an uh, Uber Jets fan here, but I'm uh, certainly worried, obviously, going I mean, up to Foxborough. You know, they're going to lose to the to the great uh, Patriots mm. and Tom Brady's fabulousness, and they're going to fucking beat the Jets. I mean, I don't want to argue with you about it. Not you, bad. but the Jets fans. It's just going to happen. Well, I'm a little worried. We'll see what happens. They're just better. Bill Belichick's just better than Rex Ryan. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He's an asshole. I was reading somewhere. <laughs> Belichick's just an asshole. And I think asshole. I, I think half his team hates him, too. Well. I get of, that feeling like no one likes this guy, even of, his own players. One of the guys said, uh, they asked no him idea. a question like, so how do you, how you, how you going to, how you feel about, you know, right. this player? He goes. Feel. He, I don't know. He said, he said, Belichick didn't tell me what to feel yet for these days. Yeah. 
That's just like, that's how he got it. Do you guys bet on, you don't bet at all on the game? I mean, I probably should. I, I, I enjoy a little uh, little sports bet every once in a while, but I haven't done it in so many years. Do you put on a Jets uh, shirt on Sunday? No, no, Are you I'm one not. of those kind of guys? If you want me to say yes, so you can beat me up, fine. No, no, I'm not trying. I'm not I, about no, that. I've never been like Jersey guy. Yeah, yeah never. That, Patriots but, been dropping 45 points. On I the understand that. What are they going to do? And Sanchez, has, stop these, and Sanchez <laughs> has a shoulder that might be a little fucking sore these right now. These amazing little white guys. that just, <laughs> The Patriots have found a way to go back to the early 30s <laughs> old in football. Old school, strapping on leather helmets. Yeah, yeah. Five foot, ten inch <laughs> they all look like white boys who Unitas. fucking run. And they, they got one of the, one of the Jets throwaways uh, is on that team, and he's a fucking animal. Yeah. He, they have a, a guy that they got rid of. Before they got Randy Moss, and he's back to like he's a, a number one receiver, and they got these two little white slot receivers, and they got two young tight ends, and Brady just finds them and they catch the ball. Mm. That's it. I guess that's all you need. <laughs> they are so basic, and yeah. it's it's despicably basic. And, and the Saints are out already. They oh, lose to the seven was, and nine Seahawks. How are you? How are you allowed to be in the playoffs when you're a, a sub five hundred team? Hey, I don't man, get that's that. The motherfucking rules. And this guy, do you Marshawn, agree with that? Marshawn Lynch, right? Had the greatest run I ever seen in a playoff game. I never seen a run like that. The sixty-seven that was yarder was it? Brutal. That, I never even seen yeah, no shit ridiculous. like that. I'm telling you, the the stiff arm he gave that guy, he threw him into the end zone. He threw that guy away. It was un fucking believable. Mm -hmm. But they, they, the Saints had their run. They, this is the thing, people. And this, I'd say this to Patriots fans: Don't forget you stunk. <laughs> How bad the Patriots stunk. For a long for time. their entire... I mean, we had John Hanna, who was one of the baddest motherfuckers that ever played. He never won a fucking thing, but he's a beast. And, 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 and Steve Grogan, it was some great Mosey Tatupu, some great players. But the Patriots stunk. Went to a Super Bowl in 85 and got destroyed huh. by the greatest football team I've ever seen in my lifetime, Ooh. which was the Bears. The Bears. The fucking 85 Bears yeah. was the greatest football team I've ever seen in my life. No one's better. You don't know this, Rich. 85 is a big year for the Bears. Holy the shit. The Super Bowl shuffle, that came uh, out of 85, yeah. right? They were so good, you with forget the that they were with like the fridge and Jimmy McMahon. 25 years later. I, yeah. And then they, we you do went to know a Super you Bowl. lost a lot of money on that game. <laughs> I don't remember. I, <laughs> we went to a Super Bowl in '96 when, uh, when when Tuna and God bless Tuna because I think that's when the Patriots started becoming something, a something. Because he said, first of all, let's get rid of this stupid uh, little man. I had the little the man the on the helmet it was so. Stupid. And then he, he put the little sleek thing, and they went to the Super Bowl in '96, lost to the Green Bay Packers, and then. And then somehow, and then Drew, the next year he was gone. He was that was the year he was negotiating as as he's getting ready for the Super Bowl, right? His next contract with uh, what well, because he he didn't want he want he said he only wanted to. That's when he said, "I don't want to. Um, if you're gonna let me run the store, you should let me buy the groceries, whatever right, the fuck. Right. Cook he, the meal and buy the groceries." But he was pissed off going into a Super Bowl, which certainly didn't help. Yeah, because the morale about, of the team. He, he doesn't. He wanted to run the show. He's he was tired. But of these, how about you win the Super Bowl? Because that's pretty impressive. And then he's worry not about here that to shit. win Super Bowls. He won his two. He's here to fix funky shit. That's what he wanted. That's what he was there to do for Dallas. Right. It was he was there for for the Jets. Right. And what he's there for for Miami now. And he's gonna leave them. He's there to make you not suck. And then, and then scram. Who are you talking about? Uh, Bill. Bill. Parcells. Yeah, but if you're uh, oh, whatever, it's old. But you know what? The fucking Patriots. They really played fucking these people in Connecticut when they said, yeah, maybe we'll move down to Connecticut just so they could do a power move and get a, their new fucking stadium. And everybody in Connecticut's all happy. They think they're getting a real team since the Whalers left. That's all I know in sports. <laughs> That's terrific, Rich. Um, did you? Did you? Um, that was pretty good. If Patrice would have said that, you would have agreed. You would have uh, said. You would have said. I would have said story. that actually, though. Yeah, I don't think. Well, I know because you're like a smart. In high school teasing, you don't know shit. <laughs> I know a lot. <laughs> Here we go let's again. talk about golf. Like let's, golf, golf. Let's talk about golf. And please don't make fun of my speech. You don't have the right. <laughs> you haven't earned well, any. You don't right. have the right to smile. Well, what the fuck? I got nice teeth. Do you? 
Don't fucking, you know what, you know what, you. this was the problem with you fucking guys. Oh, You'll take uh, anybody's side here against me, okay? Never. No. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. No. Uh -huh. Voss, before you become a victim. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a Jew, I've always been a victim. You, you felt, you kind of make it easy. You right? felt left out of this conversation. I, I understand. Anthony does, too, because right. he's not really interested. No, but so. you guess what he did? He's just going to wait. Until he has something to add. Well, that you, wasn't, well, you know what you added? Nothing. <laughs> you and OP were talking maybe about I was it. Doing, fine. But there's some jobs. people that re that know football that go, oh, shit, it's football time. Let me listen. I know I know and baseball. Go, this is football time for some people out there, Then Rich. you go, fucking, you say some ridiculous Connecticut thing. Yeah. To just try to blow a hole in the shit so you can get back in. <laughs> yes. Oh, okay, listen. <laughs> just, you're not a victim. Give us five more minutes and we'll go back yeah, to garage like, sales or see? something. <laughs> We'll talk about the like antique roadshow for he you. Turned this <laughs> you into, fucking old fuck. He turned us into poor Voss. Right. We, <laughs> no, no. And I don't, but here's what pe you know. And I don't even know. He wasn't getting enough air motherfuckers time. Motherfuckers like Voss. Here's what bugs no, me. No, I don't care about air time. <laughs> here's what bugs me air about time. Voss. There's air people, time. And there's people in my life who just, they have no, like, just small worldliness about everything. <laughs> yeah. Like, a little bit of knowledge about everything. And if you don't have that knowledge... You say, you ask some questions and, to right, make right. it Rich, ask a fucking, question. huh? like that you're interested in things you don't know. Right. Ask a question, Instead Rich. of destroying shit. Ask a question. About what? What do you want Sports me to Sports in general. And trust me, I don't know shit. I, uh, I'll be the first to tell you I don't listen, even know. I don't even what? know Who much. Who cares? I, I mean, never if you knew think about, about hockey, it, right? I, I never knew about hockey. And, and, it, this and then you ask a question to make it make sense. Like, oh, okay. Because why would you go through life and something as important as football, right? I That's know important. A little bit about <laughs> golf. Enough that if somebody who knows a lot, like Rich. I go, I go, hey man, that's very What's the I FedEx Cup? That's a dumb question. Uh, that's no, like no. trivia. That's, tri that's, that's not, not that. trivia. Matter that's the biggest thing in golf what's, right now. What's the, that's the biggest thing in what's golf. What's the Lay's potato chip bowl in football? Like, that's a stupid question. Yeah. That's Notre Dame How and many, Auburn. No, no, it is. This is <laughs> you just scared <laughs> the shit out of me. The basics of golf, I don't play it, but the basics, I can fucking, I can go well, okay. So, I get it. Yeah, it's like saying, like, what's a, what, wait, wait, what's wait, a birdie? Thinking, They're talking wait, about a birdie. Yeah, what a birdie. I know that. Like, yeah, he knows that. But that's a question, like, somebody that doesn't know would ask. Well, 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 well like, stop, stop, you know. stop. Patrice is right that I just jumped in with, with just to get in. Okay, he's right about that. <laughs> but what I did say is Thanks a known fact. Thanks for the validation. Does it, no, it, no, it, no, 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 no. Calm down. It is a known fact that... Don't fucking tell me. England, no, we're talking... You, no, you know what? This is where you're wrong. You were talking about what a, what a Rich, fuck, what Belichick is, but I was saying how the organization fucked Connecticut, so that uh, was relevant to the conversation. I will, no, I will, yes. I will have to defend Rich on this point, unfortunately. See, I am coming to your okay, side. Thank because the FedEx is a big deal now in golf. Okay, no, let's get back. It's to not it. like one what's tournament. The, what's the fucking? What's the? What's the? It's what's just the Masters. Like if that's it, well, for the, a person who don't know well, golf, Masters, it's a silly yeah, question. That, that doesn't, it's uh, arbitrary. I'm talking about yeah. the but, game of golf that everyone plays, and not just. Fe it's, it's oh, so what do you want to ask? There are rules. But the Masters is is a big question too, because there's only four majors, so yeah. that's kind of a big deal that's, too. That's trivia for. We're not talking trivia. We're talking about basic. Yeah, like hey, what sports happens knowledge? if your ball lands on the cart interest. path? Huh? Like, okay. What happens basic if your interest. ball is on the cart path? What do you do? You, you move. You move it to point of entry, no and, closer to the hole. Uh, and no, you, and no. you don't lose a stroke. If you're Rich Voss, you kick it forward fifty you yards. Really, and, ever, uh, and make believe that's me, where your ball was the whole me, fucking time. Really, you've cheater. ever seen me you cheat in golf? Cheater. Yeah, I'm a cheater. Please, do you I beat you. Cheater. And, I beat cheater. you and your father-in-law so bad, you guys drove home in tears. No, Shut up, shit. Close. And he, wants close, he wants I, a rematch. Please, shit. He wants a rematch. This is some old personal <laughs> shit. <laughs> he wants a rematch. And now I have, might have to apologize to Rich. <laughs> okay. This could be vengeance because <laughs> yeah. of what he did really? to your family. <laughs> really? Rich People from Philly have a lot of pride really? for uh, some reason. Uh, he's uh, bragging uh, about oh, my father-in-law. My father-in-law. He gave you a good run. He gave me a good run. Really? You know what? He gave you a good run. You know what? A lot, of, a lot of second place teams give the first place team a good run. Oh, okay. We're going to have a rematch guy, in the spring, nobody sir. Nobody remembers the, the guy rematch. in second place, all right? Uh, the spring hell. Want to talk about lost balls then? Huh? Lost balls? What about lost balls? Oh, here it is. <laughs> this is. All right, I have to say sorry, Rich. <laughs> I have to apologize. 
<laughs> we all Fuck know your... Opie to <laughs> have vengeance in his heart. <laughs> Fucking uh, Rich starts to run. He hates Rich from that whooping. Oh, yeah. And, Vi and Rich probably talks shit uh, to the family. Absolutely. Nah, he dismissed the family. In all fairness, it's fine. It was a, it was oh, a great day, and, uh, and we're going to have a rematch. But what I want to say about Rich is he'll start a hole with a brand new shiny golf ball, and he's putting with something that looks like it has tumors First by the ball, end of the fucking hole. Crazy? Because I, he happens to shank one in the woods and find it's a 20 fucking minutes First later. Ball, so you're, he's saying that <laughs> you shake it in the woods and somehow find you found ball. a brand new shiny ball. No, no, no he starts like with it. a shiny ball. That's the key. Oh. And by the time he's putting, the thing can't even roll right because it's it's listen. been in the woods for 10 years. I don't hear no words. <laughs> let me explain something to you. you okay, no let me. I, every no, in the woods. And first of all, of course we played, there was no woods because we played a Lynx style I'm, course. I'm not even talking about the time you played my father-in-law. Okay, when we played I'm Beth talking about Paid. the time where you broke okay. my fucking Do hand. You and I, let me and, ask you. because It made wow. me check you for kicks, you this, fucking asshole. But here's what interests me. I believe you to be what? a cheater. Oh, no, I'm fine. I fine. bet you. No, I guarantee you. I bet you Voss has cheated in golf. No, no. no it's I, one of those no, how about when you play by yourself? You've never cheated no, when there's you play no by yourself. No, there's no reason to. If I, if He's I, a mogul guy. On a par six, first of all. Mulligan, on a par Mulligan. six. A par, <laughs> par five? No, is we're there both a par five? At you. Par five is the biggest you can go? Yeah. yeah. Some, par some, five? Some retarded courses have there's par six. There's one that had a par six. You don't even acknowledge it. In no tournament, there's no par six. I'm not talking about tournaments. I'm talking about par six. Okay, there's no par six. A par six is extremely rare it's, and, and it's ridiculous. difficult right i can't imagine somebody of voss's physical stature not cheating on a par five course really? why the, he's by physical. himself well, first because all, his first hit is only going to be a hundred yards right, first maybe all, you, <laughs> but you know what's so funny he, i would love to go with patrice he, but i can't <laughs> voss, I, can't. <laughs> I can't imagine voss could hit it in Hit it more than 100, 115 yards. That's first that, of all. That first 100 of all, that's what? 15. 115 He can yards. almost do that with a wedge. <laughs> I, 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 Why? He's really good? <laughs> Voss can hit the fucking ball for is his Voss size. Is Voss really good? For his size. Voss is actually a really good golfer. Here's the thing. Here's the, he's a lunatic. These girls play he doesn't golf? have fun doing it, but he's good at it. Why? I quit biting my arm. These girls, they're this big. These little Asians. They hit the ball 250 yards. It has nothing How to do with size. Hit? It depends what club. and what, You know? Yeah, if the wind's at my back. All right, then you got the power of a little Chinese girl there. Yeah, <laughs> damn straight. You fucking stand. I got the thing. You right, suck. You suck. Uh, let's get back. <laughs> <laughs> let's get back to football. <laughs> Patrice, <laughs> did you hear the announcers in the, the Saints Seahawks game with no. the guy with the lisp? Mm -mm. Should have told the guys ahead of time to get the fucking audio. The guy had a lisp no. the entire game. Well, but but if, you didn't, if you didn't see it, then it, uh, this is meaningless. But a lot of no. people picked up on it. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know who was he. He was he must have been the announcer for Seattle. I believe he was, and they gave him the you know the shot at prime time, and he has a list. What was his last name? Voss. Oh, oh. a little self-deprecating humor. That's what I'm trying to say. Yeah. Kind of like it. <laughs> <laughs> did you see the Eagles game? Uh, yeah, I did. But I knew Vic isn't as good as uh, he thinks. Let me tell you something, man. Vic, I've noticed that the last few weeks. I'll tell you what happened to Mike Vic. Yeah, he started getting comfortable that white people like him again. Yeah, he wanted that dog. He said he wanted a dog, and everybody started listen, get, remembering. You can. I told. I told you. I don't know. I think I told somebody. I. I, I might have been on the show. Yeah, I think it was. It was the interview. I, I could see say. the interview. It was when he scored. See, when he first came back, he would score a touchdown. And then hand the fucking ball to the ref. He did like yeah, yeah. good Negro shit. He no take, fucking he, dance. No dancing. No yep. celebrating. Here you go. No fucking talking shit. Mm. And then it's after that Monday night game, when white people liked him again, he you could see the swag come back, <laughs> and you could see him start to feel yeah like like yeah, I think I can start doing some some black shit and and. Be cool with it. And he stopped this. See, why they was jerking him off is because he had, here's what they turned him in. See, what they would rather have in the NFL is Tom, they don't want a nigga who can run and throw. <laughs> they want a white boy who can throw and run. You feel me? <laughs> they want fucking Tom Brady to be able to run. That's their dream. So Michael Vick was doing it that way for a second. He was thinking throw. Look at how he keeps his feet up and how he, oh, my God. And then he runs if he just has to. They don't like these scrambling niggas. <laughs> they want, they want, and he became a scrambling nigga again. 
just start running. Yeah. <laughs> and they don't like it. They don't. They do not like it. And that and that's what he became again. He stopped he stopped being like this pocket passer that Who they doesn't like it? The Who white world? Like? Yeah. Because wow. it's something they can't do. <laughs> they they love Steve Young. Steve Young is a Hall of Famer. Steve Young used to run all the time. His best highlights are this fucking asshole running. <laughs> yeah. But it's like they Fran fucking Tarkenton. Never ran. That's all he did was scramble. Yeah, he yeah. scrambled. Yeah, he was a scrambler. Yeah, I don't remember. That's why, oh, the that's why he can't fucking walk. He, he was a scrambler, and I'm not saying that's bad. Show but as soon as you get fucking Michael Vick or, 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 or Vince Young and, and then Donovan McNabb, this is why they never like Donovan. Because then you get these black quarterbacks who can run. But then the, 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 the white announcers is like, oh, he's a scrambler. He gets hurt, busts his knee, and he stopped running. And it's almost like he enjoyed it so that he can prove that he can be smart like a white quarterback. Like, if, if you can run, fucking run. Not just run. using brute strength to run. Look, you Look at I'm not just a gorilla <laughs> throwing trees. I'm a, I'm a runner. I'm a, I can think. Like... It's that's more mad. That's more shit with white people in your head. Like use your skills and do the right thing. Yeah. But he went back to scrambling and went back to bad mechanics because he was good. He was getting good. The, a perfect weapon will be Tom Brady, who can fucking run, or Peyton Manning, who's yeah. not a statue and he mm. can just he can just run if shit gets fucked up. That's some dangerous ass shit. But Michael Vick won't. He could th he could throw a fucking football out, Vic. He's a beast. He just doesn't have the, the <laughs> yeah, greatest aim. He can't like the me his mechanics are Can horrible. I ask but question? Uh, how he throws the fucking football is insane. But Voss has a question. Can I ask you? Yes. Right. Okay. Oh, now, of course, you want a quarterback that can scramble and run, like you said, Tarkenton. <laughs> yes. Okay. But Tarkenton. Like like whatever, Fran. Fran. Uh, Tarkenton. <laughs> That's what Tarkenton. Whatever the. Yeah, whatever. I don't know. It was back uh, in the day. Who cares? Matter. It's only a name. <laughs> Okay, the halfback is, is the runner. I'm just laughing at how difficult this show is. It's just, it's just there's an attack around the corner. It really is. It's just it's nerve wracking. It really Why would anybody want to come on this show I, I, as a guest? I couldn't just, sleep last night. It's nerve wracking. It show. really is. You can't say anything. There's a I, bugger. I had to take oh, around the corner to go to bed last night. Damn. I'm having fucking anxiety every time. It's so true. We all know Voss is, it has a speech impediment. No, that, that was, and, that was just, and he says Talkington, but that's his, like, it was we, close enough. But we all speak, for any other radio show in America. We all speak fluent Voss. Yeah. <laughs> just let him have Talkington. I know <laughs> Talkington. <laughs> I don't know. I, but it's just the right, what, what, what's his question? What's your question? What, what's your question? Oh, okay, obviously, you know it doesn't. Obviously, you want Come to quote about Talkington. <laughs> What's your question? <laughs> okay, history. Obviously, you want a quarterback that can run, do everything. But basically, it's it's a team. This is what you do. You don't want a you don't want a guard that could that could uh, whatever. A guard is supposed to block for the court. You know yeah. what I'm saying. Everybody has their. You know, the end isn't supposed to be able to throw the ball. He's not supposed to come around. And, and what's, your, a, what's the fucking question, man? The main thing a quarterback's supposed to do is run the team, be smart, and yeah. be able to throw the ball. That's the main thing, right? Actually, not really. The what? quarterback is is, is, is is the most important. It's that's what you, I just said. The run most, the team. But I'm saying if if things break down, okay, or if things don't break down, and you have a quarterback that can run like a running back, mm. fucking, what's the difference? Now, uh, 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 you know who I, I used to play football, so it's like you block for somebody who's fearless. Like, you want to block for a motherfucker that you know is going to help you win games. So if Michael Vick is running, you know he's a trooper, you're going to block for him. So it doesn't, you can't put that on the guard. You can't, because it, there is, there, that's why they go on skill positions. Skill positions are the motherfuckers that improvise. Me, I'm 6'4", 400 pounds. I don't, I don't fucking improvise. No, you I drive yourself I, right into. I go somebody, hut hut yeah. and I block that cocksucker in front of me. <laughs> yeah. That other 700 pound dude. <laughs> and then the skill positions make sure that. What position do you play? I played tackle both ways. I played halfback, man. There's no way you play halfback. I played halfback. I was quick. I was very quick. What in the? Get the fuck out! I'm of here. not bullshit. I played Holes. halfback. I was quick. You was man. a running back where? It, the when your league? unathletic league was you fucking. <laughs> Listen, I'm very athletic. When it was all you? Jews. 
Yeah, it was, yeah, it was the, all the Jew Jewish kids. League. Yeah. Can you imagine? They uh, had, the they JFL. <laughs> the JFL. Uh, Where everybody's an owner. <laughs> yeah. There's no players. Uh, uh, Should have went with the KFL. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! Funny though. Uh, Twenty-two people on field yeah, negotiating. No, no, nobody will hit you because you're scared. <laughs> they want to hit you. Ready goes blue. I think I went red. Oh, yeah. shit. oh boy! Did he ever, I don't know. <laughs> did he ever get to his question? Yeah, he asked it. Oh, I, lo- I tapped out a while ago. Uh, it was a really one. a statement. But, okay. You know. He, you know. All okay. right. But that's we speak for involved. Did, did you think the Eagles should have got past the Packers? Uh, not the way they were playing, though. No. And not well, the way they obviously Aaron, didn't seem like they were playing a good game. Aaron Rodgers is a beast. He's evidently. a fucking he's, good he's, quarterback. He's huh? a beast, but he's not. He's just not in the talks at this moment because Drew Brees and and Peyton Manning and Tom Brady are dominating the quarterback world. But evidently, uh, Aaron Rodgers is a fucking he's animal. He's on his way up. He's just great. He, he can beat you by himself because they have nobody. Mm. The, they had the best tight end in the league for a second. He got hurt. Uh, they got a few guys, but they have this kid on on defense who's like a goddamn white Lawrence Taylor. This, so this is where I tap. This out. fucking I don't, I don't Clay know Matthews. Any of this. I don't know any of this. It's like a fucking Just to show you animal. Yeah, what? Yeah. Clay Matthews is an animal. Yeah. So it's like you know they got some people. They got some people, but you know I mean who are they playing Atlanta? They're gonna get beat by Atlanta. Atlanta's Atlanta's a animals. It's gonna team. be it's gonna be um Patriots uh, Atlanta if everybody mm. does what they're supposed to do. I, now that New, Lo- no New Orleans fukes. is out. Yeah, no Sometimes bullshit. Sometimes a fluke happens. Uh, you're, you're listening to the fan, uh, folks. Mm. 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 Nothing. He should have planned that out, though. <laughs> I, oh I, 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 I tried to, like, look at the paper should, like it was should. nothing. I tried to play it off like, you know. I'm so uncomfortable <laughs> right now. <laughs> you just made people uncomfortable, Rich. I, right. It's just like, <laughs> are you uncomfortable but, now? But he'll victimize himself. He'll, he'll victimize himself. Why are you beating me up? <laughs> As, uh, what time Patrice, I said that? If I'm Patrice so said that, it would be... If I said, we're yeah. listening to the fan, and then and I had nothing. no confidence in it. I didn't have no any. No belief. None. none at all. He but just wants to say something for say something. But I thought it would have been funny. Shut but up. where were you going? Nowhere. 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 He had no plan B I, to make it better. I, I always have hope that he's going somewhere Rich when he does that. Exit. I usually do if, have some. If thing. Rich oh, builds like, a building, he? he'll build, He'll have one piece of wood <laughs> and hope Why did that you... everybody else has the rest of the fucking material. <laughs> Why did he need a prop for that bad line? Because he knew. He actually had a prop. And he uh, said yeah, he no. He no. It, it, was, it was his fucking. <laughs> so, it, it was the deuce chills he gave himself. <laughs> yeah. I thought. I the thought fan, and he folded up the paper. I thought he was cleverly going into a plug for one of his shows. No, no that was you Plan B, but I didn't. That was but, Plan B, but, but oh, I was so embarrassed by Plan A. Why are you fucking going against your? Com- you have, I would say, we all are are basically, we, we're fluent in Voss. Yes. You yes. know he had nothing else. You know what cleverness was he getting ready to say? I, I hold out for hope with him. You know <laughs> the first. You know the first of all has no second of all. <laughs> no, you're right. You're right. You're yeah. Right. It's, it's maybe I'm tired because it's Monday. Cause, you're right. I should have picked up on the tell. But that's because we love Rich. We want Rich to succeed. Because it throws yeah, everything listen. out of whack. I yes. need Rich to succeed. So I can mm-hmm. go. I'm, this is my friend. Listen. Yeah. First of all, let we me roll together. We, here's, here's I, hear, the thing. I hear you. I hear you. Uh, I agree. In the overall aspect of life, mm-hmm. I'm successful. Okay. He's been reading the secret. Like well, I don't read any of that. I don't read. He's been reading some positive read. horseshit. No, I don't read. You got an iPad now? I don't huh? read. You got an iPad? No, I'm going to buy Bobby's old one. See, it's always that. Oh, that's what bothers me. A fucking Why don't you just go get a this. fucking new iPad? I don't know if I'm Why are you always looking for a deal on I'm everything? Like you'll like it. Huh? Dude, you'll that's, like it. That's what infuriates me. When was what? the last thing you actually Why bought is... something brand new and didn't go you're, looking you're for a deal? Present. Oh shit! I don't even know. I don't even know what you got. I don't even know what you got. It was three hundred dollars. Thank you. I appreciate that. What? Why is Bobby getting rid of it? Because a new one will come out. Well, why don't you just buy yourself a new what, what one? Is, what is the specs on Bobby's fucking iPad, and how much is he, he going to give it to you for? I don't know. I'm, listen, I'm, I'm going to buy it. You, don't, you never I, buy yourself the only nice I don't stuff. Buy it. You're always looking for a no, fucking deal. The, thing, the I car is always two years old. Nice other people shit. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. always a deal that has to be made. Why don't it's you just fun. go, why don't you just go buy and f- yourself an iPad? You're successful. Huh? You're successful. Go out and get a fucking iPad. Maybe I'll do it today. 
Do it. I'm Somebody g- else's wrist sweat was on your watch. Like it's no, this is brand uh, new. This is brand uh, new, uh, brother. Somebody's all right, so you, brand new. so you did buy yourself a brand. All right, at least all right. I but don't believe him. I'll show you. I'll no, show no. you the paperwork. I don't believe him. You got a dead guy's watch on you? He, Not at all. You it's do, a right? Deal. No, the dead sh- guy's watch. Yeah, it's some deal. He bought it in Canal Street in the back. No. How'd you buy the watch? And I B, guarantee you had something on it. I'll tell you how I bought. Yeah. The, uh, Listen for the deal. There's going to be some kind of bartering that right, happened. Right. You, there was something. Did I ever say Martin's Jewelers on this uh, <laughs> show? Voss has a diamond. Uh, let me see. Which one? Let me see that. He has a diamond bezel Rolex. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Voss did not buy I'm, a I, diamond bezel no Rolex. Rolex. I was making uh, stupid brand, money. Brand a couple no. of fucking Listen to me. You did not buy Oh, no, no, whoa, 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 stop. You're right. You know what? There's, there's I bought a the Rolex, and then I bought the bezel separate. I went, I went and got the bezel. At, at the jewelry store. If we, if we continue to Hold fucking yeah. Yeah, 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 cross yeah, 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 examine yeah, yeah, this pussy, I'm breaking down already. Know what the fuck okay, okay, what happened Explain was. Explain how you bought the watch. I guarantee there was some kind of bartering no, or something. Not that, for this one. So not my other Rolex. Part first. My other Rolex. Here's how we find out. Go ahead, Patrice. My here's other we, Rolex. Here's how we find out. What's the, what's the style of Rolex? This one? This is the, uh, what's it called? The fucking, oh, the, the date dust. The date dust. And then I went and bought the uh, the diamond bezel because I bought Bonnie a diamond bezel. When they, Bonnie they had the, just what happened, listen, to me for half listen, price. <laughs> when Bonnie, when, when Bonnie had, wait, hold on. When Bonnie had the baby, I bought her a diamond bezel because I bought myself one. How much you pay for it new? What the watch? Yeah. I think like seven grand. It was like seven grand new. Look at that I don't know if you bought it. I'm telling you, not for seven Why would I like? fucking believe it? No, nah, I, I don't believe it. it. My other Rolex, there was some shady shit behind it. Everything you do has shady shit behind it. Shady yeah, shit. Everything. I don't believe him. I don't believe I it. I don't believe I'm sorry. him. I'm square business. Square business. <laughs> <laughs> what? That's what niggas say. <laughs> when you're dealing in street, you always go, yo, yo, look at me. Square, square business. business. Square, square business. business. Watch. Square business. <laughs> I'm trying to say. So you actually is, spent seven thousand dollars. No more, because then I went and bought right. a diamond that, bezel. On that watch, this no. is like that. Nobody would do that. No, what are you talking not, about? that watch. He and got a Voss. good. Voss would not have brought a bought a brand new that I'm watch. I'm telling you, no one could, could have got it cheaper looking around. No, or, no, no. You can't. You, not can get, this. you can get a different watch. This is this is what I'm saying about Voss. What? A You're seven, saying this isn't a nice saying, watch? No, for, no, no, no. That Rolex that Voss has, okay, uh-huh. a particular one, because. Because Danny looked it up, well, and I there's a it whole three bunch years of ago. different fucking... You're right, I bought it. I've had so, it three or so four I'm years. Saying it's, it's, it's within range of what it would cost. A, yeah. a, brand, a, brand, a brand new Rolex, like, you get, it's like I said, that Rolex there is the... It's the... You buy a, a, a top-of-the-line Toyota. Mm-hmm. So this is a top-of-the-line Rolex. And so this yeah, is why Yeah, that's why li- we're suspicious, why and that's why you're lying. Because a seven... There, you're you not spending 7000 on a watch. There's no $7,000... Top of the line. You're wrong. Rolex. You think you know everything about everything. You, first I of all, I don't. <laughs> but a top of the no, line listen, Rolex listen. is more oh, you're right. you than seven thousand dollars. First of all, you can get a Rolex for one hundred and fifty thousand dollars. Then you can don't get say you bought a top of the line Rolex. Right. I bought a seven thousand dollar <laughs> Rolex. So compared to the four thousand so dollar Rolex, it's the top of the he line. He bought <laughs> again. <laughs> he bought that Boxster. He bought the box. No, no, he no. He bought the bottom of the line. Oh, he could have no, gotten no, the top of the no, line. Listen, you could have got a top of the line. God, he just doesn't shut the fuck up. <laughs> you could have got well, a top of the line. You just you no, got a top of the line. You could have got a Wait, top of the line. What watch you have? What watch? A a a a Breitling. Is that the top of the line Breitling? Absolutely not. Okay. Is it a nice Breitling? Yes. What did that cost you? Three thousand, right? Yes. That's about a three thousand. Yes. My other Rolex is a five thousand dollar Rolex. This is a seven. Maybe one day I'll have a twelve thousand dollar Rolex. Because Maybe. we don't but he, but he he bought a very good Rolex right. for for cheap. Yeah. No, I didn't buy it for cheap. I bought it for what the I not only that, we I bought all, this. Well, none of us listen, believe you. Listen, see this and right if you here? Did, see this shit if you right did, here? It would be the first time you've see, actually bought something. You're the diamond store. star of David. I bought this shit in the Diamond District right here, right? Mm-hmm. That's where you d- get deals and shit. You know the deal in the Diamond District. This I bought from a jewelry store. So it wasn't just no bartering. There's no, I mean, maybe a little, hey, do this, do that, you know, take a couple. But this, 
was, I think, a $9,000 watch, and they gave it to me for seven because I might have plugged them on radio. I don't know, somewhere. <laughs> I might have put their name on something. Who knows? But that's what we're getting at. There's always something going on with so you. So that was the deal? No, but I didn't do it with this I think one. it goes deeper than that, but at least he's admitting that much. All I and know he'll is, admit more. Yeah, he didn't just walk in and go, no, I want that. Take, off, take $100 off and boom, I'll, I'll, I'll walk out of the store with it now. No, there was something else going You're on, right. but you, you already admitted. Listen, you pay for price. You it down 2000 See, listen. You, you, do you pay full price for everything? Who's going to walk in and pay Not full? everything, but when you a buy, lot of times I do, and even when I wasn't making money, because sometimes it's like, I want that. I'm getting it now. I'm not going to go on the Internet and look for a no, bargain. No, not on the Internet. Yeah. I, I you wouldn't always buy a Rolex for a bargain. I wouldn't buy a Rolex. Always. Ro I, it's not the bargain. It's the fun of a negotiating, man. It's oh, not the bargain. I, I, it's pay, like I pay full price for almost everything. Really? Yeah. I just I, I was like, oh, that? Is that what it cost? All right, I'll take yeah, it. Yeah, that was too yeah, much well, work. Uh, huh? That was too much work, and I'm talking about before I had money. fucking Saigon? Well, first Where of all, you, you can't barter for you know certain things that you buy. You know what I mean? Well, true. <laughs> okay. Do you, do you walk down Canal Street ever? Never Looking been. For What's bargains? on Canal Street? All right, just no. Asking. I don't go to Canal Street. No, it's 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 the drug addict <clears throat> mentality. You don't get it, but you like you like to negotiate, or you like you like to fucking. No, it's you a know, pain I, I in the ass. Huh? It's no, not a pain in the ass. Rich, it, wait, when you you're worth millions of dollars, you know that's, so that's, that's not, not, no, that's not the point we're making. He he, thou protesteth. Too, too much. much. So it, it's what, not the point what, we're what, making, what we're Rich. going back to, he's actually making that point. Is that he got it on a deal? Yeah, yeah. yeah. You, you yeah everything's a deal. You but it wasn't you buy brand a car. new out the fuck. I'm gonna tell it you why. It was brand new. It's brand new. I'll, Rolex listen to dealers me. can't. Dally, they don't. They can't fuck with a price. They don't fuck you, around. You can't fuck with a is. brand new no, Rolex no. price. Oh, he he yells, so he's got to be to. right. They don't need to do that. <laughs> he, when he yells, he's got to be right. You're 100 percent wrong. I'll, I'll it up. could be the last year model. Don't. They, they don't because Rolex hold their price forever. So you buy it for twenty, you sell it for twenty. That's admitted, not true. They don't hold their price. They do hold their price. No, they, they don't. Go online. I got I got the GMT or whatever Rolex that is. All right. And here's I'm not another gonna thing. Hear... You, what? Look at, I know that I have uh, the Breitling Avenger. Okay. Mm -hmm. Why I know that? Because I brought a three thousand dollar watch, and I'm like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> uh -huh. He bought a seven thousand dollar. I think that used to be nine thousand. Scootily, doodly, scootily. <laughs> oh, it's <laughs> like, will you stop it? Oh, Just Jesus. fucking stop really? it! Have you ran out of things to say? Will you gonna attack my watch? Is there next? No. Have you ran out of now? This is more diversionary just... tactics. Is there an extra letter on that watch? <laughs> <laughs> There's an S. It's a Rolexes. Right, thank you. Forget it. Oh. Is there an extra oh, letter? Now we're doing stock. It's a Rolex. <laughs> is that a stock? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh my God. Oh, I like. That. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> you don't come to my watch. <laughs> but at least you admitted it. <laughs> at least you admitted that you, you got $2,000 off the watch. Oh, whatever. I don't know. By but doing I some I uh, hoodly doodly stuff. All I'm saying is that's fine. You That's your thing. You like to bargain and go online and find deals. I, I get that. Part of it. Hold on. But you do that with... Everything, not and that's everything. the problem we have. Here's a, Go and buy an iPad. Wait, They're not that problem. expensive. Wait, wait, first of all, just you have a lot more problems in this authority, but my spending habits aren't a problem to you. Okay, I... <coughs> excuse oh, me. <laughs> Holy you shit. Yeah, but your lung cancer certainly oh, is a God. problem. I hope it's not contagious. I got some of Anthony's hair in my mouth. I, <laughs> 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 I, okay, here's the I love. I oh, spend money. Damn. I'm not... I'm, I'm far saying, from cheap. Okay, last night we went out for dinner, just dropped 150 for nothing for what the kids. What was the deal you made with the fucking no, restaurant? No, no, we went Why out. Why would he say that? That's, like, that's a gentleman's that price. Is not, <laughs> that ain't shit. 150 without alcohol. How many people? Three. Seven. No, me, and me, Bonnie, and the baby. But we were going to just go get some, you know, light like sandwiches. We're going to a nice place. If it was tonight. McDonald's, but, then we'd be impressed. What, what kind of restaurant? Like, we, you can't, we get, go, you listen, can't get out I, of a restaurant I, I, for less than 100 for and two And I people. love the free bread stick. <laughs> okay. The Olive Garden. Uh, where'd you go? Uh, uh, Voss, Voss, where'd you go? I don't know. The fucking concierge sent us somewhere. What the fuck? You know, I have what a concierge. What type of food? He doesn't the concierge. know. The, he doesn't Italian. know. Now, can, Italian. We, can we, can we, can we agree that we will not allow him to say he doesn't know any what? of these things anymore? Like, hey, where'd you go to eat? I don't know. What's you your watch? Know. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Like, what's going no. on? Yeah, what's yeah. I went to a fucking restaurant. A fucking Italian <laughs> restaurant down the street from the hotel. Who the fuck? Who cares the name? name? It was good. <laughs> It was good. <laughs> Anyhow, what I'm trying to say, wait a minute, let's get back to my point. Look at, 
Let's get back to my point. Hold on. Here's my point. We're, we're done uh, with your point. My, I, you know I'm not cheap. Vols always cheap. talks like he's trying to talk his way out of a speeding ticket. <laughs> <laughs> I got a ticket. No matter what, you go, hey, Vols, how you doing today? No, what, what, why would that? that why does it matter? You know what's what, fucked up what, about what? Long Island? I was driving to my gig the other night. And all of a sudden, I'm driving through the light, and I see two flashes, like, the light took uh, a picture yeah, of me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, uh, yeah. You're as fun. you're driving, you're you, know, you know, you yeah, get, and, and the light was days. yellow. It was yellow. Well, but, must have been red when you were at the going through it. <laughs> like, they took two pictures. You got the picture. I, <laughs> That's, that technology's going to be on every huh? street corner, too. That's fucking unbelievable. Uh, that shit's getting cheaper to put Rich up. Voss, you are fined $150 with a $30 yeah. surcharge. Can I give you 20 for the surcharge? <laughs> charge and I'll give you 125 for the ticket and if I'll perform you, you, at your benefit. What do you mean if you talk uh, I got a ticket if you talk to the prosecutor you could talk him down. I know yeah. But I'm not going to go to New York for a fucking that's, I'm oh, paying the a price. Hassle. Just, it's unfortunately a fucking, and they know that so you just yeah, pay they, and fucking and move it's a on. scam man. <clears throat> Voss drives to the court of that county that he got that You have ticket. having your rich. No, Voss but I got a ticket up in pay. when Once I was again, doing a college. I was doing a college up in Alfred, New York. You went back to Alfred? No, no, no. He went no. back to Alfred. When I got Alfred. pulled over, I my first one is, you guys listen to Opie and Anthony? And oh. then that got me nothing. Then the PBA cards, nothing. Okay. Well, PBA and I, doesn't get you anything PBA anymore. Is Those cards mean nothing. PBA is something you just want to throw. You need the FOP, man. There's one card that you buy for like 200 or $300. You can't See? buy them. <laughs> But yeah, my can. friend has Patrice, it. but he can. <laughs> my friend. You forgot your own point. Of course he's buying these things. Because he's done that research, too. You got to ask him. No, like, PBA, if somebody gives you a PBA, it's like it's like they, they take PBA cards. FOP, the fraternal order, you That's need that. the one, right? The FOP is the one is you, that the, you Where's you the need. one where you make a... A donation, and you get the card, and they're like, "We like this motherfucker." It's called a bribe. Well, yeah, <laughs> but, the, but the plastic no, ones, you need, right you need one that's made out of, <laughs> made out of fucking. Of I know you got. You must have five thousand. No, I don't have any of the. Uh, I don't have any of the. Oh, uh, hold on. You have to have at least <laughs> FOP, Anthony. Yeah. How many? How many? You must have fifty I, FOP oh, cards. No, I only need this one. Oh, What's shit. that? This is the only one. And this is a key. That's the, key the one. one? I'm, yeah. That's that, and and on the back it's got everything written on. Oh, this and this is big. This is this is bigger That's than the brass. FOP. Yeah, yeah. This is this is the this is the fraternal order of bigger motherfuckers than that. Did you have Did you have to make a big donation for that or something, or was that given? To yeah, you? I make a big donation every month. I pay the Moreskas. Oh, this is, and he already got you. He already got you one of these. And, and you know, I know the guy. Let me see that. He yeah. just slipped me one of these fucking things. I got, I got one at the house. I, 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 I'm, I know I'm the guy. I'm like like we. He, this this should come with this show. Doing this, show. <laughs> this should fucking come with should that, get man. get something for it, right? Are you fucking serious? I, I got one at home. Even, I, got I can't one. be mad at Keith, though, for anything. That fucker knows how to play poker, man. Yeah. He helped yeah. me He helped Did me he? play poker, dude. Really? Oh, absolutely. You, you went well, money? too. I was the last I know. Uh, I know. You did well. people from this show that, that was out. And, and what you, was this? A tournament that I wasn't invited to? It's gambling, Rich. No, I wasn't. Huh? It's gambling. Oh, I don't mind that anymore. What is this one? Lifetime member. Oh, You're gambling again? No. That does not That does National you nothing, right? Does that does you anything if you it pull it out? It gets you discounts at hotels and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> does it? Yeah. <laughs> a little something, now something. Now boss is interested. And yeah, hey, wait a minute. I'll join. God damn. I don't believe in guns, I but if I get it, a discount on it. Do you have any? I'll whenever I make back. a reservation online or something, <laughs> it says, oh, do you have any of this for discount? And I always, I never put it in. I could probably save fucking thousands upon thousands of dollars if I, if I <laughs> took one second to, like, check into something. Well, if you didn't drink when you were gambling. <laughs> no, no, actually, that works. That's he really, really? He, I'll tell you one thing. He really is a sneaky... He goes from just completely coherent to, like, oh, shit, this nigga's lushing right now. <laughs> he yeah. went... He It took about four good hours. Yeah. And and we were just like, oh, okay, everything... And then... You know what happened? You said something mean. Like you started off nice. <laughs> oh shit! And then at the end, like after the four hours, you just got. You just said, "Fuck it, I'm yeah. gonna say some fucked up shit to somebody." And I go, "Yeah, yeah." I looked and go, "This motherfucker's drunk as shit." <laughs> I was hammered. <laughs> I what? said, "This motherfucker just said some I called fucked the up dealer, shit." I called the dealer a cunt. And oh, something yeah. happened. Was, I said, yeah. "Uh oh." And then it's like, and then some old bat. I was making a lot. Like I make a lot of noise at the table, even having a good time and shit and fun. It's like, yeah, yeah, that's how it's done. And then some fucking old bitty 
bitchy woman uh, on the other side of the pit, like, was sitting at a table, and she turned and gave me this look, and I just looked at her, I went, what the fuck are you looking at? What the fuck are you... I go, turn your head around, you fucking old bitch. And, and, and then, you which know, is people why, get like, oh, which is boy. Why oh, our, which is why our friend is so serious, uh, 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 you know, Gabe. So he goes, uh, can I say his name on that? No. Who? Keith? Yeah. Keith is very serious about right. his job. I go, Keith, how come you ain't playing? He says, I'm working. He's working. I go, all right, well, damn, just play a hand, though. You're so good. And then at the end of, after I see Anthony's shenanigans, then he, I understand. Now you know. you're playing blackjack. Keith yeah. has to keep Anthony out of trouble. Keith keeps me out of trouble, and he, he pays off my markers. <laughs> you know what Keith is? You see Scarface at the, when he's in, in, in the restaurant? And, and Ernie? Ernie, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ernie had to talk to the fucking <laughs> guy. After, after Anthony's like, I'm the bad guy. Fuck you. And then <laughs> Ernie has to slide the guy 50. Look at you. I'm the bad guy. About this. <laughs> How do you not? You need me. You <laughs> need the bad guy. Look at you bunch of fucking mummies. And, uh, just, I'll, pay, <laughs> yeah. I'll pay the bill. Yeah, I'll, I'll take care yeah, of you. Don't worry about it. Keep, keep, keep. Why, can't you, why don't you shoot craps? It's the, it's the crack of gambling. It's no, the best, I, I, man. I make, I make money on blackjack. But you, you can make more on craps. Nah, I don't yeah. know craps. You, well, well, you didn't me. know blackjack until someone taught you. Uh, well, uh, craps, best odds, well, craps. Yeah. Yeah, better than blackjack. What am I gonna do? What craps? It's so much more exciting. Uh, I like blackjack. I I lost. I was losing once, and I I hit the table. I went fucking. I threw my hands up, and the waitress had a tray of a hundred <laughs> drinks right behind me, and they went flying in the air. And I just brushed her off like nothing happened. Go get some more fucking drinks. I just lost a lot of fucking. It's money. It's always about a hundred drinks too. Oh uh, man, when you're, when you're making losing. trips. When you're losing, it's just like, you but, know, don't give me but, shit. I don't want to talk to you. Fuck but you. But he should be able to act like uh, be able to act like an asshole with the action he's throwing down. That's true. Why does it matter? There should be an asshole casino. room. You know they got a high roller room? They should have an asshole room. Absolutely. Where you're allowed man. to call the dealer a cunt. You're allowed to fucking curse. You could throw shit on the floor. Like, that's what you're buying by fucking going into this... This high, high roller. It's the nasty high roller you know, room, it, where you could just go, you fucking piece of shit with these fucking blackjacks you're dealing yourself. Die, motherfucker. You know what's funny? They get mad when you curse, but yet they don't mind that you drink, lose your house, pick up a hooker oh, yeah, after their... Oh, yeah, That's immoral. Everything, everything is complete evil in a casino, but you're not allowed to curse. This, so fuck yourself. This Asian dealer <laughs> de was yep, dealing me shit point, right? and dealing herself great cards, and I yelled right in the face. I went, no tip for you! <laughs> <laughs> that showed her, I'm I sure. I getting so obnoxious. <laughs> That's what I do. Danny? It reminds me of actually one of my favorite casino stories where that Patrice was at. Actually, it was the Hard Rock in Vegas when uh, the traveling virus tour was going on. <coughs> yeah. And uh, Travis, went, uh, Travis, uh, Patrice wanted to sit down and, and play some three card poker. So I remember you pointed at the dealer at one point and you oh. went ah, and the guy was just like, "It's not my money." So Patrice just pointing at the cameras above the table. So I was going ah. <laughs> <laughs> when when we were playing, I think we were playing blackjack at one point too, and and the dealer is dealing out some some good cards for the table and busting. And every time the dealer busted, Patrice pointed right in the dealer's face and went, nah! <laughs> It was so fucking funny and flustered the dealer. You're a lot and, of fun and, to gamble with, Patrice. But oh, yeah. in, a lot of in fun. my short time of hanging and gambling a little bit, yeah. something bothers me about gambling. Yeah. When I was, it, it's, it's eventually, it gets pathetic. It, it, <laughs> at Eventually, first, yeah. I'm like having a great time, but I don't drink and shit, so I only run off my own battery. I don't have fucking <laughs> booze, so booze batteries are great. After, after you know, you know, at the slot machine, you know, you sit there and you win a couple of times. You go, oh, I'm gonna keep playing. After a while, you you push the button, like, like just yeah, yeah, like, it, yeah. there's no more. Fun and so at first you're pulling yeah. the handle so you can have some fun. It's like whoa, I'm pulling the handle and then you just clink push. Have you ever clink? Then push. it gets really serious and really, mm -hmm. really. I hate have you ever seen? I saw a guy. I was playing blackjack once, and he was sitting. He was like this. He just lost. He was up. He lost twenty five thousand. Yeah. And he was so he was sitting there and he didn't know me. He goes, can you can you give me ten dollars for another bet? What? Right. 
he just lost twenty. He built it to twenty, and he lost the whole twenty five thousand. Yeah. So I gave him That'll ten. Hurt. Like, like, really, you're going to get that twenty five thousand back? It's yeah, not going to happen. With ten dollars. With ten, really? It's just he had to make one more bet. Right, right, you know? right. He's always got to make. Did you one read more. the book what? Owning Mahoney? Hold on, hold no. on, hold on. About the ten dollars, uh, what percentage did you uh, nego yeah, negotiate yeah. with the guy? What was the vig on that one? You <laughs> the vig. Yes. Well, I, I was winning, so I do. and another time. I'm going to take five percent of everything you win with my ten bucks. <laughs> See black, see dice, see blackjack. Yeah. You're, here's the thing: you're, you're fucking with. You're, when you're playing blackjack, you're fucking with assholes that don't know how to play, yeah. and they're hitting when they're not supposed to, or they're not hitting when they're supposed to. Craps. The only thing you might have is some one who throws your dice too hard and likes bouncing it all over the place. But you don't have to worry about the motherfucker next to you going. Oh, I'm going to hit when the dealer has a well, four. Well, you don't sit at those fucking tables. Well, and how do you know somebody, somebody sits down, sits down. You, you turn around and you tell them, you go, what the fuck are you doing? You don't know how to play? Leave this table. I go, I'm not betting five bucks a hand here, motherfucker. Yeah. You leave. Or That's I'll pull my, I'll pull my bets though. back. I'll pull my bets back when the, and, and then when he a goes, go fuck yourself. Lady, when a new Asian lady sits down at the table, you will, you will see me pull yeah, my fucking course. bet back and throw the minimum bet right in the circle just so I can see what the fuck she's going to do It's first. the same with Crash. When they're hot, they come over to do the money. That's when they come over and bring chips. Uh, bring it, when they, they always bring, bring it the up. chips. Yeah, when yeah, the table's fucking... Because the dude's on a roll. I was playing in Aruba. I'm not bullshitting. When we were... My first wife, we went to Aruba, and I got money all over the fucking table. I'm on fire with the fucking dice. Winning like a... It was fucking insane. And then my wife comes over and touches my arm. Mush. Seven fucking out. <laughs> you know how bad. Ah, you, you know how. Wanna, and, then, just and, choke her? and then we got home from Aruba after I took her there and she goes, I want a divorce. <laughs> Bitch, you couldn't have told me that a week ago before you touched my arm, okay? <laughs> Right when we got home from Aruba, I wanted a divorce. <clears throat> Man, you know some about the gambling. Less money you had to give yeah. her, though. When, when do you get up? And go. I'm gonna stop right well, that's now. The, that's the big question. When the pipe breaks, there, there, there are, there be a fucking there are differences. And I mean, when do you get up for the evening? Yeah, After there, you won 25 G's, like when I'm do up. you just go? There are differences. I'm gonna, I'm gonna I get when you get I'm chest up. pains. You know, <laughs> I, I get up when I'm too fucking tired to sit there yep. anymore. That's when I'll get up, up or down. If I'm up, I'll, I'll leave. If I'm down, I'll leave and and say like uh, I'll try again tomorrow or something like that. But Keith is the guy, like, I'll sit there and, and play, and Keith will fucking come by and snatch the fucking chips and go right to the cage, pay off markers, whatever, and I'll keep playing with what he left at the table. Boom, boom, boom. Like, last time, we, just last time we were at uh, Mohegan or, Fo or Foxwoods. We were at Foxwoods. I woke up the next morning, and I just was, like, fucking hungover and shit. I'm like, I was like, Keith, what's the damage, man? What'd I lose? And he's like... Dude, you won ten grand. I was like, oh fuck. You know, we, I'm at, we was all there. Yeah, because all I remember was yelling, Marker! <laughs> you know, you know, fucking Marker! Here's the thing. Marker! <laughs> I, I, I do a bit on saying I'm gonna do it now, but this is true. Like when you go to a casino with like your girl or your wife and this is you know, you go you go, hold this money, don't give it back to me no matter what I tell you, and that's what you're doing with Keith. No, An no, hour later, that. give me my fucking money. No, 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 I don't. Huh? I don't do that. Half the casino does that. You, like you hide money or no, you have no, your no, way. No, 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 no. But see, you, you, I'll play, I'll just because ask you for got, another, you I'll got stupid money, market. so it doesn't matter. I'll just ask like for I, market. I've sold gold necklaces in casinos. I'm not saying you can't fucking <laughs> you can't so like gold build necklace. poor gamblers out of their fucking we, money. Uh, I want to rich to gamble again so bad. I'm in. I'm at Foxwoods in uh, uh, Fourth of July weekend. You're getting the itch. I'm there. Oh, next. I shot craps in Seattle. I'm at the Borgata next week. <laughs> <laughs> this this oh, weekend. You're lucky Jimmy's no, not here. I didn't. I did you or did you not? No. All right, get your plugs in. we got to take a break. Oh, I'm in Harrisburg next weekend. At the uh, Comedy weekend, Zone. At, at Catch a Rising Star in, Promise, in Rhode, Island. Rhode Island. Harrisburg is the door deal, so come to Harrisburg. Because right. I'm doing a door deal there. <laughs> uh, movies next. And, uh, you know, something we wanted to play Friday. We ran out of time. The Uncle Whip and the Nephew. What happened? Oh, also yeah, being that a one. gang member? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Making believe he was a gang member? That's absolutely real? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. The research I've uh, done. That's good. Yeah. Yep. So we'll do that as well. All right. Okay. I, <coughs> excuse oh. me. Opie and Anthony. Opie and Anthony show on the virus. Sirius XM.
Na, 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 na. Opie and Anthony, Patrice O'Neill, Big Mama Prods on Twitter. Your girl's uh, tweeting, I think, uh, there, Patrice. Is she, is she's she, making sure everyone's listening to you on the Opie and Anthony show. She's a good girl. What am I going to do? She's uh, promoting your website, PatriceO'Neill.com. She's a good Big girl. Mama Prods on Twitter. She is a good girl. I don't deserve her. I don't deserve my girl. She's a good. I turned a hoe into a housewife, but she's a good girl. <laughs> she's, she's a beautiful woman, man. She's she really better, is beautiful. She's better than I deserve. She's definitely But beautiful. she's still a cunt. <laughs> God, is she a cunt. <laughs> God, is she retarded and she's insane. She hates women. She hates men. That's every but, chick, but we get but, but she's come to grips with it. Yeah. And uh, she's a good goddamn girl, man. I don't know that you got you got to weigh out whether they're really good and it compensates for how batshit crazy they are. Because uh, every every fucking girl I've ever known it's insane is crazy. Do you know? Between my marriage and my second one, I had like 10 or 14 years off. And I see comics do girls are out of their mind, this and that. And I go, oh, please, you know, really? And then uh, being with Bonnie, it's like you're going, really? That's why you said, really? 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 I'm trying, really? You're yelling at me because I'm eating my dinner last night? I, I ate the whole salad? You're saying, calm down with my addictive behavior because I ate my salad? Who's this? Bonnie, they're just crazy. They find it's what is crazy. She, what did she say? Well, I like to eat, uh, and she's like, "Let's get Bonnie on the phone." He no, broke no, it no. down that he, all he was doing was eating a salad. There was so much more going yeah, on. Well, I was picking off your plates too. After Patrice said what he said, I can't listen to anything you said. Now I need the whole story. Oh, yeah. <laughs> get Bonnie on the phone. It wasn't Voss, about a dumb little tell you salad. Another thing, Voss does. It, it, these are things <laughs> that <laughs> it's Alan. If I get in a position, man, can we try to get her on? Oh, all right, the friends I think deserve help. That it, we like one of us make it, and we got to bring up the others that need uh -huh. help. It's going to be hard, but I'm going to have to tell Voss, stop trying to be competitive in things that you have no idea what to be competitive. Like, me and we're having an off-air conversation, and we're talking about, like, how this whole you and Ant? crew. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, me and, and Voss. Okay. How the whole crew is kind of, we, we're for real people with for real issues. And there's a lot of up-and-coming dudes who think... That they're gangster, but they're really not. And, and but we we old now. Yeah. Voss has to come in and just say his story, like you know what I told a fucking. No, we're talking. No, yeah. listen. It's, when, it's when it's you say, but it's not. Let me finish. You see, right here. No, let me finish no, because you can dissect any fucking thing. Right and thing. And Anthony, listen. here's what we we we, we, we did an overall uh -huh. us Thank thing. You. Right. It was yeah. an overall. Thanks, Ken. Thanks, Ken. We overall us thing. Yeah, it wasn't we, individual. Us, it was the collective. Oh, you know what? He right. comes in well, and goes, okay. here's what I did. Well, here's, what, here's the bottom line. Here's you what know I what? did to this bachelorette party. No. I told them, no, well, watch out, no, no, bitches. No, no. Here's the thing. We're talking, here's the thing. We collectively you know are trying yeah. to be this family of... <laughs> Oh, no. fucking kill no, I was just giving it And he goes, I kill the Whoa. best. No, no, he no, always no. wants to kill. No, no. no. Here's, here's what the I did here's last the thing. week. Here's what I realized. Patrice, the I bottom line. I have to fix that. Now, here's the thing. You, you guys are have known such, each other for yeah. way too many years. Here's the bottom line. Patrice, but you are a better person than me on the outside. But they don't know you like I know you. You're crying on the inside. I quit this. I quit that. No, you just been beaten. I'm crying on that's the outside, and, too. No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's what he's trying to do. He's what? trying to psychologically no. break me down. No. That's, not what yeah. he, that's not his forte. Yes, it is. I've been to enough. You know I know what enough Voss's about. forte is? What? Get him, Voss. <laughs> Go get him. Go get him. I don't want to break him down. I just want him crying. Go get him, Voss. <laughs> and Voss just goes, ah. Thank you. Arr! And you go down, Voss. Down. <laughs> and then somebody you. else tries to do After he's chewed up, then someone else moves in and goes, this is what I tried to tell you. Yeah. This is you're not going to be able to do this now. If you don't want Voss to bite you and sick you again, shut up. It's, the, then, phone, it's the phony edginess. But then the psychological no. hammer comes in. Well, I know yeah. a lot about psychology.
Do you? Do you, uh, do you see what I'm saying? Have you, what you do? He you, doesn't. I do. You're wrong. What do you, you know? Don't. What do you know he, about he's it? He's not huh? interested in psychology. Hold on. Hold on. I, I call him out of his head wrong. What do you know I've about I've read like a couple uh, right, fucking you know? uh, give us some chapters basics. in a Bradshaw book. All right. Give, okay. us, some ba- give, us, a, give us some basics on, on psychology. I'm like, well, what do you want to know about? Anxiety? Depression? Do you want to know about it? Endless shit. Anxiety. 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 That's a Chinese ruler. But you can't. Ask me why a person does something, and I'll tell you why. I want to just know the basics of psychology. Oh, yeah. You said you know about it, so let's start well, with Psychology 101. Got, psychology got, for dummies. Give me okay, a basic shit. Basic shit. Wait, let me answer the question. Wait, let me just say to Opie, what you're doing is not fair, and I'm going to tell you why. Why? Here's why I'm saying what I said earlier. What? He, you see how much... There's no one that can answer that. Will you ask him right the question? Now. What's the basics of psychology? Voss is so competitive and, and, and retarded at the same time <laughs> that he doesn't understand that's some, an impossible I know. thing he's trying yeah, to get into. Well, didn't I just yeah. say give me something specific, okay, but I won't right, give right, him. Fair enough. It's, it's wait, very difficult wait, to well, do that. But we'll slow down. It isn't. because. Right, First of all, I did say give me something specific. But here's the basics. There's no specifics here, to well, psychology. Here's the basics. Here's okay, the basics. Ahead, all right, it all breaks down on your inner child. That's what it all breaks down <laughs> on. I, okay, as an adult, you cannot be abandoned. As a child, you can, and everything and how you react to situations is from your childhood. Basics. There's a. Ba- that's There's not, a. Ba- why are you saying that? Because he asked right. me. That, why are you but saying that? I don't think that? that's even true. It no, is that's, true. That's it is true. That's where about? every. What are you talking about? I'm talking about like you everything. Just, you just picked somebody like, your yeah. asshole. <laughs> What's that? You just decided to say it's all about your childhood. Yes. And then that's what that's what yeah. What, what's about your childhood? Your, your what? What, what behavior? The, 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 all your behavior comes from your fucking childhood. So well, if you're acting out, you basically that's like you're saying you were your, acting out as a kid. All your desire for water comes from thirst. No, that's no. <laughs> no you're, fucking, <laughs> you're right. You're right. He's a fucking what? asshole. Well, you listen, you fucking moron. He said the basics. He said the basics. What? That's the basics. There's no, everybody has their own particular thing that you go so at. And it all stems from their childhood. Wait, wait, wait. What if you have a, a fine average childhood, uh-huh. and then at 25 years old, you suffer a trauma you have a post-traumatic stress disorder. Whatever, something happens that completely has nothing Could to do with. Could you explain to him what post-traumatic okay. stress disorder uh, is? Do, by do, the way, doing a show with Rich. Uh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> no, no, that's doing well, a stress then, disorder. Well, then, then that doesn't fall <laughs> in the category <laughs> of basics. That is completely <laughs> all, right. all right, you asked for. All right, I got one. Okay. Why are you, Rich Voss, so insecure? Why? His Psychologically childhood. speaking. Uh, because oh. uh, I didn't get enough reinforcement as a kid from my parents. You know, Why? The stories you've told you are terrific. Blame it on your parents. Terrific. Terrific. Well, you just asked me terrific and I gave Norman an answer. I didn't get enough re- type of fucking stories true. you tell. What kind of stories? Like the time your mom oh, <laughs> dragged, it, dragged it to your father's house and said, here, you take them, <laughs> I don't want them. That was my grandparents. Oh, your grandparents. Yeah, that's I good don't re- want them. That's good reinforcement. You, you have gives abandon- a sh- abandonment uh, issues. issues. That's yeah. why you're always... Yeah. That's why you're always like. Well, well why do I have insecure? Because I come into this fucking battlefield, <laughs> right? And I get twitters from we're, the fucking fat we're listeners. We're trying to build you that up. Fucking, you're fucking moron <laughs> listeners that don't even get irony. I fucking twit. I'm going out to O and A tomorrow. I'm going to dress nice. I and see. these fucking morons. What does it matter? You fat fucking listeners, go fucking I die. Did, I and did. he <laughs> won't. He and because he needs the numbers. He what? won't block block those. I do. I people. block him. You're wrong. That's where you're wrong. I block him. Nothing, I just learned how to block him. There's absolutely nothing wrong with blocking you, people you on Twitter. Add, you Simple as that. You hear what he added at that last throwaway line? I just learned how to. I yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Learned how what do you to, think? I, I don't but do he that didn't shit. say he doesn't. I just said I block people. Rich, I I'm, blocked three people I'm yesterday. I'm on your side again because I, I followed you on Twitter yesterday, and, and you did make a joke like, I'm going O&A, and I'm going to dress nice or yeah. something like that. And Obviously a silly, dumb, throwaway little joke. No big deal. And people were... 
answering him like he was serious. They're fucking idiots. Like, the other <laughs> night, like, I did Can't you night, pick up on the fact that the, I was a throwaway the, the line? The other night, they don't get it. The other night at the show, this guy comes up, goes, you fucking killed oh. her right on the radio. Listen, I kill on the fucking radio, you morons. I fucking 10 for 10 the last fucking... This is like these fucking, uh, no, no, this no. Is you don't another, deal with it. You don't deal with it. I'll give you... You, you don't deal with these fucking animals, these listeners. Rich, what? They're I'll, my only what? fans, really. Like, what do you mean? <laughs> I don't deal with them. Rich, I'll give you 8 out of 10. That's still no. good, though. Go over the fucking go over. 8 out of 10. No, 10 out of 10. I've seen Today was my slowest stuff day. written about Patrice on Twitter. Huh? I've seen ridiculous stuff. And did I fans. smell anything wrong? <laughs> I got something right, for Rich. I, I got something for Rich. <laughs> what? Hi, Mommy. Hi, Mommy. This might help you. Hi, Mommy. This might help you. Hi, Mommy. This is for Rich. Hi, Mommy. This is for you. I know I feel the same way, Mommy. I love you, but I never wanted to see you for the past oh. hours, and man. It seems like everybody's home. Hi, Mommy. I'm home. I, I told you I was coming this year. Yeah. Right, I don't this kid's so be rich, Bob. I'm home. I got a haircut. I love you, Mommy. I love you, too, son. Please don't disappoint me. I'm not, Mommy. She goes, I love you, too, son. Please don't disappoint me. That was a second thing after I love you. And I've been praying, Mommy. What's going on? I'll reset his headphones off. Hi, Mommy. Why did that Hi, bother you? Hey, Why did that bother you? Who wants to listen to that shit? We're breaking down some psychology right now. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Why did I, that bother you? I'm going to tell headphones you real off. quick. I broke the chain of dysfunction in my family. That's all. So you did I. Some, okay, I didn't say High five did. across okay, the room. Okay, I broke the chain of dysfunction. Boom. Boom. Me and your right. brother. Uh, I got, you know what? Wait, and, what? Uh, and I'm what? talking about both of you. What? You have to break the chain. A dysfunction. You two that did? Shit. Listen. Yes. <laughs> Fuck yeah, I did. Listen. You don't pay attention you to me in my personal that. life. You yeah. don't know the first thing about me. I got me. all my, my kid's first tooth that I pulled. Her first <laughs> haircut. I, I got... Bonnie goes, why do you got your kid's uh, first baby shoes? Okay? Because they were the first. And they were... That's the, okay? I, I went to... Let's say my father's house. I was doing a TV show years ago, and they needed a baby picture. I go, do you got any pictures? I mean, I think he had two. Let me tell you what this show has done to all. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Here comes Dr. Patrice. <laughs> and I don't blame him. I don't fucking blame him. It's such a war zone <laughs> that a man who should be speaking much slower and clearer just rambles. Shit. Like, he's so talking get it. faster than his brain yes. is able to. Uh, I want to hear this because you're like, you know what he doesn't have confidence in? He doesn't have confidence in a point that might not have to be funny. So, yeah, yeah. so no, if you say uh, if he says please. something about his kids' baby shoes, that's an interesting. Why do you save your kids' baby shoes? Because right? your mom didn't save yours. No, Who cares? No, they're no, the listen. first. He says, yeah. "Why do you save?" I was listening. Why do you save their first baby shoes? Because they were the first. And then he moves on. Like okay, you so have you have to fucking explain yourself. No, you you two go. I broke the chain of blah blah, and you gave an air high five that's to each right, other. That's right, man. And <laughs> nobody knows what the fuck you talking about. That's because you're just you can't just say that. Only, <laughs> only fucking we people that we know grew what we're up talking in dysfunction understand yeah, that shit. What the fuck you talking what, uh, about? Really? I'll tell you. I broke the okay. motherfucking I broke. chain of okay. dysfunction. Okay. Listen, I, I, listen, I, listen, to get serious too. for a moment, I realized in my behavior, I was doing the same fucking horse shit my mom did and, yeah. and her mom did to her. And finally, you wake up one day and go, I'm going to do it different. Yeah, you want me to break That's it down breaking like the this. fucking chain. I'll break it down so you understand. I, in, a, in a black neighborhood, okay, uh, a mom will have three slow, child. Slow down for a second. Okay. Can we promise? Can we promise not racist. to cut Voss off? No, no, no one cut right. him off. Did, can we promise? You want, now, slow okay. down and explain slow this. Down. And this is where I with, grew up, so this is what I know. And within 30 seconds, the okay. wheels will fall okay. off and go. Let's because say, I'm going to tell you why. He's going to pretend like this wasn't trying to be funny. No, this is not being I funny. I want to hear you I'm say a say, serious, slow story. I'm, I'm going to tell side. you to break go. the chain of dysfunction. Where I grew up, and I used to hang on Rudy's porch and hang out with Rudy and Pee Wee and his family. And the rest okay. of the fucking <laughs> Fat Albert gang. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> you see? <laughs> can't fucking explain asshole. Go ahead. Go ahead. You hung out with Rudy on the porch. Rudy and Pee Wee and the family. Theo and, and fucking <laughs> okay, and, Rufus, and Claire. And Rufus. I get it. Go ahead. <laughs> okay. Okay. So and mush okay. mouth. And, All right. So the mom. Said, R R Voss, you like a school in June. No class. Go ahead. I'm with you. Go ahead, Voss. Let it rip. Let it rip. Okay. And let's say one of the family members wasn't working and was getting government assistance. Let's say. Then the daughter grew up and saw her mom didn't have to work. And had kids and got government assistance, so did she. 
and then her kids grew up and got government assistance because her mother and grandmother did. So one of the one of the he, somebody in that chain has to break the dysfunction. <laughs> sorry, sorry. <laughs> sorry, sorry. To, okay. Somebody in that, <laughs> in that family. Do you know what I'm saying? What I'm saying you're is, bad, bro. Shut you know, the fuck up, <laughs> but you don't. <laughs> Fucking, you're the worst. <laughs> Boss, on your side again. Fucking you said fucking rich man. up. Shut the <laughs> fuck up. Don't want to hear it. You really thought that Patrice wanted to hear this shit. I you did. set you up so I bad. I did. And what did you see? It breaking down. Uh, it's just, what I'm it's just, saying is, like, what I'm saying what is, get a job. Get a job. God damn, Patrice. I'm getting chest pain. I was trying, I was oh, trying to fucking listen to this bullshit. I know. <laughs> you fucking know what I'm saying. The listen. daughter broke the chain of... Because the, she got the, the a job. The grandma, the ma, that she broke... You're what right. is this fucking... You're... Didn't you know where that was going to, like, yeah. the second he started saying it? Because it's so just pat and... Oh, my God. Like, okay, and... all right, so... One dad rapes his kid. That kid rapes his kid. Someone's going to have to stop raping. <laughs> okay? Is that easier? Okay. What? Dad, was, dad was a drunk. The kid was a drunk. His kid was a drunk. The next like kid said, I'm not going to drink. It's, that's breaking the it's chain like of this fun. This is a duck that doesn't fly. Because his, his oh, father flies. Well, I'm sorry. <laughs> you know what? And his father flies. <laughs> Listen, but I'm not going to fly because I want to walk. Okay. It's the fucking okay. Okay. dumbest shit. It's his shit. Like, what are you fucking Stupid. talking about? The, the question. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Now, He's now, upset. Now, He's upset. Kevin, 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 Kevin Patrice's fucking a, point oh, that you're talking way too fast. Slow down. Take a breath. Take a breath. I know. I'm getting touched. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Please don't die in our studio. Yeah. Explain break the <laughs> fucking really chain awkward. of dysfunction. What do you want? E equals MC square? It's easy. It's pretty fucking And why are we talking about breaking chains in front of Patrice? That's not nice. Yeah, okay. But <laughs> there you go. Okay. Oh, Wait a minute. You know what? Well. Here's what the problem is. Here's the issue. It's self it's a self awareness that breaks the chain my mo look. Yeah. Do I believe that yeah, kids have... should get beat? Yes. I didn't like getting beat, right? Mm. But I'm not going to say my mother's beatings. Sometimes she, she hit me, and it was fucking not necessary. It was based on her youngness, and it was based on not. But, but did I deserve an ass whooping? I used to be an arsonist. I burn shit. I didn't know this. Yeah, yeah. yeah they're called bridges. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, yes. It continues to stay, Patrice. No, but I tell you, that one was good. That was oh, okay. Good. Let's so analyze well, it. Let's yeah. analyze it. Listen in that soul. Don't worry. Very good. So we'll back mother, it up with a bomb so in within 15 oh, seconds. Oh, because he's, he's greedy. Yes. Yeah. So, <laughs> and he'll try to tell his story about, well, well, I was an arsonist. Okay, there you I, go. I, 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 All right. I burned and drowned things. Like, he'll, right. he'll try to say right. something. Go ahead. He'll try to say something go better ahead. than this. All right, go after my, <laughs> go after my handicap. <laughs> so, go after my handicap, <laughs> diet drinker. <laughs> yeah. See? So, See? I want to know I'm about saying, the, you I, being I an arsonist. I used to just love watching shit burn. Well, a lot of us All did when we were growing up. Yeah. I burned, you know. Did I, you go in the woods and burn some shit a little bit here and there? Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, then why was it a problem? Hold on. Why was it a problem? Why was it a problem? Yes, because I think a lot of kids go in the woods and burn some shit, so, and hopefully it's a controlled uh, fire. I, I don't. I, the, the, the psychology of why I like to see things burn, I don't know. I enjoy burning. But how shit. bad did it get with you? Like, and got, I told our stories how, over here's the years. Here's how it got bad. We both had a fire in our childhood that got out of hand, but in general, here's how it got bad. I burned a young, <laughs> meaning my mother, a young black woman's kitchen floor. You and your mom burned it together? I, no, I burned it and tried to hide it with a rug. That was, <laughs> oh, I, I burned, a, it was plastic floors. Yeah. No money to get it. You know, if you fuck up your own house, the landlord ain't come to fix your own burning. <laughs> no. I burned up screens, like the screens, when you light the screens on fire, you they didn't burn. What they did was crackle. just charred, and then you could just poke your fingers through it. And I, I, I did that shit, so I finally burned up the floor in the house. You didn't have toys? And my mother, yeah, but my mother fucked me up so bad, that beating. But, you know, at the time, I tease her about that beating, but at the time, okay, I deserve that. Because if my mother said, hey, man, you know, fires are bad. And see, fires can kill and, like, <laughs> yeah. some bullshit. 
I still, I'd be like, what the fuck's wrong with this ass? She's telling me fire is burnt. So she beat, what she did was beat fear into me. <laughs> so I had a healthy fear until I realized that, what the fuck was I doing? So she had to beat my ass to put the, for, for practical reasons. Not to convince me that fucking fire was wrong. She had to beat me because... Cause fucking, oh, I just did it. That if so you did maybe it again, you'd that's you'd what get I'm that saying. So yes, it was a practical fear. It but, didn't stop uh, you from so wanting to burn shit. So if you put your shit. face on the stove, would that have been okay too? Yeah, yeah. Cause, cause if, okay. cause somebody else's house would have been on fire. Yeah, you I would have escalated. You would have kept going, something. right? Yes, now, absolutely. A couple things. When she beat you, did you feel like you could have taken her? But you had to take the beating because psychologically you knew you yes. were fucked if you didn't have and her you in know your what? life. The day I realized that half of it was fear was at when the 13. And she's called me and I didn't come. And she hit me with a broomstick in front of my friends. Oh, shit. And I realized it didn't hurt. And then she realized <clears throat> that it didn't hurt. That's a big moment. And then she but never hit me again. So after that, every lesson I learned was on the job training because I didn't have a father that I could punch me in the chest. <laughs> there was no upgrade. It was her yeah, mommy yeah. arms hitting me with a stick and I went, what? That's what happened. My I, dad I, and I looked at her like, why yep. would you do that? Why would you do that? In front of my friend, what were you doing? My friends are sitting here. Oh, shit. And then that was it. But I would never, to this day, like, I never, it was never a threatening thing. It was like, she realized her arms, it was done. But it got me up to that fucking point. I fucked up a lot after that. But she did what she can, and I, I believe in ass beatings because the problem with kids, my girl's kid, okay, she thinks she has a say. She thinks <laughs> she's a human fucking being, and she's not. She's a thing. <laughs> she's a, a thing. fucking thing. And she should shut her fucking mouth, but she always is like, I got a question, though. And then why? But why? Shh, be quiet. Why? Because I fucking said so. Because I said, I and you're not a person. I was scared of every single adult when I was a kid. Yeah, fuck because yeah. Because I thought they all had permission to punch me in the And they pretty much oh, did. You know they did back yeah, then. Yeah, listen, you know what, back then, back then, you know what, that's fucking ridiculous. Because it's not your kids do have now his, kids Now, do here's, know. How, no. here's how why he don't think. He started oh, no. the whole thing where it's no, back as because, a child. No. That was his psychological but stop, profile. No, right. And now he just tells his name back now then. Back just then. So, okay. His no, 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 no. Listen, 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 listen. You're saying, so you're saying, you're right, it just started. So you're saying a kid has no say in anything, then that's going to fuck the kid up when they get older and they have no confidence because you didn't let them talk, okay? If you're saying you are a thing and you're not allowed to fucking <clears> give an opinion or a feeling, then that kid is going to grow but up your fucked mom, up. No. I that kid's no going to grow up. Shut, first that of all, kid's your mom. Grow up not shooting up a school. No, and your mom probably took it Because I said don't shoot far. up a school. No, no, you're saying or you're a thing and you don't have Rich. a... You're, yeah. Rich, oh, the, hold on, hold on. You're my property. No. The difference yeah. between you two is I think your mom took it too far. No, And that's no, the problem. No, no, you My mom took it too far. You don't fucking get it. You don't I do get, get it. it no, you don't get it because when you're saying <laughs> your do your girlfriend's daughter mm -hmm. has no, you can't don't shut the fuck up. Don't no, ask. Don't tell no, me you're no, a thing. No, I said shut the fuck up. You just said you don't have. You're I'm a saying thing. that for for fucking an extra bit of a uh, seasoning to this fucking adult radio program. But and, and when she starts talking, mm -hmm. I tell her, look, you listen up to a point because I'm telling you to because kids do not have the rationale to listen to you. They don't understand shit. You buy them something because you're supposed to. You do this because <laughs> you're supposed to. If you go look, go to sleep now. Why do I have to go to sleep? Because if you're tired, because I fucking said so! <laughs> that is so true. What the fuck is wrong with you, That's boss? obvious. No, that's, that's why you only right. have girls, too. You, you, you mm. just, you got weak sperm, too. You don't got no boy sperm. <laughs> you got no You got kids. little girls and shit. Because I pull out. I like it on the chest. I pulled out. I she put it back I don't want my son. I don't want my son to go through what I went through as a fucking... <laughs> hey, and I don't, he's and breaking I don't want, the chains. And exactly. I don't want yeah. no daughters. He just broke the chains. Because nope. my daughter probably... She, God will curse me. My daughter have ten pussies. <laughs> 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 on a shoulder and neck and they're all working. All being used at the just, same fucking time. Just because so I've been so horrible shit. to women and shit. That's great. Patrice, by the way, getting back to the arsonist thing, I always thought you were uh, a good actor, but I guess not. 
Arrested mm-hmm. Development, you played an arsonist. Oh, yeah, from the little fucking... See, yeah. I remember that fucking show. I love that fucking <laughs> show, and you were part of it. What you burn down? The banana stand? The banana stand. Yeah. Oh, yeah, my oh, right. <laughs> yep. Right on. <clears throat> See, Rich, uh, uh, you, you, are, you bring up oh. the, the early thing. Yeah. But then it, it's not always about... Like yeah, they're right, and we all right. grew up. Because some that. people have great childhoods and they become and fucked, fucked up. up. They become fucked but up. We all yeah, grew up exactly because they have great no. childhoods and no discipline. And you saw Master and Commander with Russell Crowe. Yeah, you ever seen that movie? That great scene where he had to talk to this guy because he's trying to be buddies yeah, with the yeah. fucking crew, and Russell Crowe grabs him and goes, "You." They want a fucking leader. <laughs> they want a leader. You can't fucking be friends with these mother... You can't be buddy palsy wowsies with your fucking kids. Because they're, they're abusive. And they're naturally abusive. They're not even manipulative. They just go, this punk... He lets me do anything. No, that's wrong. That's you. That's you. All kids aren't like that. All kids they aren't all, like that. They are like that. Are you no, pals to your true. daughters, they're Rich? Inherent, no, no, I'll tell they're them, do this, do that, do this. And they will take but, advantage of, of every little thing well, you No, that's human and, nature will take kid, advantage. Until a kid has something to say that's, fucking human that's nature. worth fucking hearing, I do like to shut the fuck yeah, up. Yeah, right. That's 25 <laughs> years and above. <laughs> that's not a kid. Anybody I finally, under 25 years. When I thought I was being abused. I've, as you grow up and you realize things, you go, wow, thanks, Mom. Thank you. Mm. And you did me a favor by fucking not letting, because I, I was smart enough to know what's right and wrong. Of course. I just did it. I just did it. Yeah. So I uh, had to have some way uh, to not do it. Here are the beating. I, I like the Patrice <clears throat> mom, too. I finally met her. Yeah, she's cool. Backstage she's at the right, man. That's she's fucking, she's, she's all right. Hey, listen, this leads to the video that we wanted to play Friday. I'd love to know where you were going to go, Voss. Yeah. Huh? I'd no, love to know where I, you were going to go. At the you barbecue, you were going to get it. You, let me only tell you what Voss said to my Why? mother when he first met her. He said, you look like Roz G. <laughs> no, that wasn't the first thing. <laughs> Roz was is, <laughs> Voss said to my mother, look like this Roz. big black girl comedian. You look like Roz G. Uh, that was the first uh, time I met her. That was the last barbecue. <laughs> <laughs> that was the last barbecue. But that's the charm of Voss. Oh, my God. Yeah. She sh- sort of does. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, can we play this video? Oh, fuck, nigga. <laughs> Pat- Patrice, sons of bitches, Patrice man. looks like Roz. <laughs> I was too scared to go with that, but all right. <laughs> Put a little wig on, Patrice. Oh, shit. It's not that. <laughs> I think that's why, you. Did, why did I open myself up to that one? <laughs> you really and there's a Danny's fucked up. Everybody's fucked up on the show. I wouldn't think to just look up Roz G. Danny. That wasn't even my mind Danny to get a picture of Roz G. In two seconds. You couldn't get it up there fast enough. Hey, it leads to the video that we wanted to play Friday where uh, a father disciplines his kid right on the internet. Yeah, I want to hear this. And forces him to put it on his face. That's his uncle, by the way. Uncle, I'm sorry. Uncle. Um, <clears throat> what, what, what's the backstory? This kid was uh, being a fake gangster online or something? Yeah, he was. I, I don't know the details, uh, but apparently, as the story goes, he was posting stuff. You know that he was in a gang, or there was some kind of gang. He was a gang banger and thing, or he was. He was just portraying something this, he was this persona that he wasn't. And, and, it, and, and the uncle got word of it and said, "Turn on your fucking webcam." That uncle looks like a motherfucker right there. You haven't too. seen this video yet? No. <laughs> oh, it's great. First of all, how's so, that guy on TV with that lip? Oh Jesus! <laughs> Wait, where was he? <laughs> Trent Franks is a congressman. How, oh, gee, how caught, miserable is that guy? He got caught on a fence as a kid. It, it, yeah, Trent Franks. That's a hair lip, the right? Republican oh, from Arizona. That was fixed. I thought I that was you, a key. I bet you that guy is not to be fucked with that yeah, guy. Yeah, he might have some oh, fucking boy. something happen in the nom. Oh. <laughs> I don't know what happened there. Oh. Wow. Oh, wow, Jesus. Gabriel Giffords is looking all right. Oh. No, that's a um, file footage. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Oh. That's one of the things, like, you know, there's things you can't overlook with a broad. <laughs> That's a it. A hair lip broad. It's like, I overlook a missing arm before I overlook <laughs> yeah. a I fucking I think hair you're right. lip broad. I think man. you're fucking right. Oh, uh, shit. Let's play this video, though. So, so the uncle gets word that the, the, the nephew there is fucking doing some bad shit on the internet that... It is not true, and uh, kind of forces uh, his little nephew to come clean. Yeah, yeah let's uh... puts on the webcam and does this. <laughs> this with all y'all people on Facebook, y'all parents, y'all need to stop all these senseless fucking crimes, all this gangbang shit. This my fucking nephew right here. He ain't no gang member. We don't come from that shit. You, you tell him all that bullshit, but all that, all that fake, uh, all that thing. But this ass whooping ain't gonna be fake. Oh shit. Get that on Facebook. 
That kid, that kid is, is going to be now. fine for the rest of his life. <laughs> yes. That motherfucker is going to go to NASA. He's going to be in NASA. He's going to be a fucking lawyer. But the second thing is the uncle should have said in there, I'm the only motherfucking gangster in this family. Because <laughs> yeah. that nigga ain't it's a gangster. shit. <laughs> it's He's a like fucking that. killer. Yeah, why didn't he put a shirt and on to the, the video? He took his shirt off. Right. And then he goes, if you raise your hand, I'll stomp your motherfucking ass. <laughs> yeah. So he knows some gangster <laughs> shit. He know, he <laughs> that's, so that's probably where the nephew got it from. And he's holding him with one hand and just beating him with the other hand. He was his uncle the whole right. time. I learned yeah, it from yeah. you, okay? <laughs> He's beating him with the belt and fucking oh. holding him at the same His time. His pubic hair is pretty much fucking... Right now, that kid's going to break the chain of dysfunction. Oh, and Jesus. that kid is big enough to whoop that oh, little yeah, yeah, small... Yeah. He is scared shit of that his uncle. That's psychological fear. Yeah. Hey, you know what the thing is? That strap ain't hurting him. He's scared the uncle's going to start punching him in the face. He's just scared. He's scared, Because right that there. strap don't he's hurt. He's scared him straight. And, and, and what are you going to do? When he go out there and they go, yo, let's go. He's scared to death of his uncle. Yeah, how do you think he dealt with it with his fucking posse there? You punk ass motherfucker with your uncle. They might kill his uncle. They might kill his fucking uncle. Do you think he got made fun of at school the next oh, day? He, he totally God. did. We all just. But then he's there. like, "Fuck you! You go to my uncle, motherfucker." He ain't gonna kill himself. Yeah, I think he saves no. face because his uncle's a scary motherfucker. That's that, I think he saves face my, at school. Yeah. One of my favorite parts of this video is how the uncle's really scary, but there's a big giant oriental fan on the wall. Is it really? <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's great. And he's beating his nephew. <laughs> ah, yeah, look at the big fan. It's probably covering a fucking fist hole. Yeah, that's that he missed punching some <laughs> bitch through the face. <laughs> that's, that's, that's ghetto construction, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> and another favorite part of the video <laughs> is uh, you could tell that some that somewhere in the, in the ruckus, uh, a phone got knocked over because at the end, the tail end of the video you could hear that the phone's been off the hook <laughs> the off the hook sound yeah <laughs> don't tell me tell them like he yeah, tell them tell them <sighs> motherfucker but this guy's an internet star now now the uncle's gonna be interviewed well i just thought it was necessary <laughs> shut, yeah. shut the fuck and go into his I, I i saw the gang uh the violence and uh we must silence the violence <laughs> and uh, he's gonna be all fucking <laughs> preaching and shit is it is it auto-tuned Oh, it'll, put, it'll be auto-tune auto -tune it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Such a black those, house, too, with a fake plant. Those, <laughs> 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 you know the black... It's got, you can't see there's some horrible picture on the wall. You know what? <laughs> what? I grew up with the same house, like... <laughs> Wooden spoons. <laughs> I had the wooden spoons hanging it up on the wall. It was classy growing up, though, but it was wooden spoons. What was the was wooden spoons about? <laughs> hanging up on the wall. The just giant wooden spoon yeah. and it fork. Just, something to break over. You're like walls. fucking hanging on the wall in the kitchen. Oh, really? Yeah, Martin yeah, Luther yeah. King, Malcolm X, and Bruce Lee Bruce, picture. Bruce Lee was got, Bruce had to Lee. be there. Bruce Lee. It was really... <laughs> it really was a way to live. We have the oh, old Jesus fucking Christ. guinea pictures. What happened? The oh, fucking uh, pictures of Venice painted in thick oil paint. You talking about last week at your house? <laughs> yeah, oh, oh, I'm oh, trying to buy one. Uh, go ahead, Troy. Hey, how you doing? I just wanted to comment. I think I heard Opie uh, say that the guy's pubic hair was popping out. Yeah. Nice call, homo. Yeah, that's great. Oh. Yeah, so anything else? Homo. Is he serious? Well, cause, yeah, really, this cause is what you have to deal with. It. I just read, I just read guy. ten Assholes Twitters that don't even know how to fucking do a funny line. The fact is, the the uncle's fucking pants are uh, pretty much yeah, around the, his ankles. Asshole. That's the point of saying Listen, pubic hair. Right, his pubic hair is sticking out as he's trying to give his stupid nephew a life lesson. It's you a know, contrast there. I just read ten Twitters. I'm not going to lie, and this is serious, and I hope you guys don't take this wrong. You have the dumbest fan base. Fuck them. That's Sometimes. coming from boss. And that's coming from me. <laughs> but just no, no, the ones small, that, wait, can, can we fix this? Yes. that unfortunately have a big but voice they think out they're there. funny. Can, 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 can I be fair? There's a lot of non-verbal... Uh, 
Yeah, yeah, fans. yeah, yeah. I know. I mean, a lot. Of I fans, wish they were more verbal. But no, they got they they because they. I they, wish they, those those people with a brain had yes, yes, more yes. to say on Twitter. There's a and there's else. a there's a few that just you know they just they but look at. It's very rare. Like on Twitter, it's very rare I get a real foul one because I will block yeah. you. Yeah, you just block so you better you better make it good. Yeah. Here's, here's, and this is just about me it. now. It is Calm. about the ones that come to the shows are fucking. They're smart. They're fan. They know calm. They come oh, to the show. Them. It's the ones that don't. No, the ones that sit there and think. All right, can it, you, Opie, can you tell him to slow down? I know. Right. I, I'm not no. going to Just go ahead. Just slow down. Well. Okay. All right. Should I? What? What level should I talk? I, I got it, Rich. Don't get, stand up right now. Yeah. Stretch a little. Just stretch and relax. Just relax, man. And we're going to watch it. I'm trying oh. to help. Will you just go with it for the show? All right. Go <laughs> with it for the show. I've been doing stretch. that for fucking 10 years. <laughs> stretch. Get, get a little. Relax. Okay. He says stand up, Rich. <laughs> uh, that, oh, that wasn't bad. Shit. Come on, folks. That, that was good. That, 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 that was, was good. That was good. Quick one. And he looked at his drink as his as his. Uh, <laughs> was that stock material, oh, Rich? Stock no. trying. His, 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 his uh, oh, what do you call one. that when you do that in comedy? Your uh, what is fucking Kool Aid? You want to go there? Uh, make you, no, it's a, no. <laughs> make people laugh. Oh, Jesus! <laughs> Shut up, you fucking board op. Uh, what the fuck is your 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 call or uh, whatever? Anyhow, keep trying. Something no, there's will something happen. comedy. He when is you, you know, like after apart. a punchline, people do their cigarette. Or I get do, it, but this is, I forget I mean, what. Uh, just a, just a word. But for you it. shouldn't hold a, a crutch this long for that. Yeah, I know. A crutch is fine, bro. No, it's not a crutch. Okay. A crutch, I think, is pretty accurate. Huh? Hey, it would probably be a crutch. All right. Well, you reach for the no, drink after no, you know you just called. killed it's with the wine. I, I'll it's it. on purpose. You do Listen it like it. as a... I sit back down. Yeah. I think you're relaxed. Like a pratfall? Like a prat fall, prat, like a, like a, uh, no, oh. now we're playing charade. Gimmick? Uh, you started the game, <laughs> bitch. Don't try, to, don't try to act like you was trying to... He's nervous as all fuck. I'm not nervous Listen, at all. Go ahead, man. A thousand miles an hour. Yeah, I'm just... Go what ahead, I'm make saying it about the fans. All right, go ahead. The ones, and probably with you and you and Bobby, the ones that trash or this or that... They they fucking they don't come out they don't support or, you know what I mean like there's guys that come to the show yeah. there was a bunch this weekend and they they get it these fucking guys think they're funny they'll twit all right you're 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 twitting stuff that has been said on this show ten thousand times exactly. what I'm saying is be yes. fucking original or funny but I will stay in in, in 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 defense of a few it, the the way this show is. We are very, very mean to each other, but it's it's scientific almost. Some people don't get. I'll tell you, okay, very lady trucker. Oh God! Ugh. Like, but she she wants to get it. Like you can feel like she doesn't want to just go. Bleh. She de she wants to get how to do what they think is being done on the show. I'm just saying. There's a lot of people that don't get. You know, Kevin from Connecticut, I think. He gets how to be mean, cause it's half of it. This shit is funny, and that's what I'm saying. It's like a lot of guys. We go, oh, you're a faggot. Look at it. It's like, it's yeah. like don't, it, like you're waiting for me to say something. Do something that it, that that compels you to talk. You know what he context, motherfucker. Yeah, but here's the context. Here's the thing, lady trucker. Listen, I don't want to know how to put a pallet with a forklift on the back of a truck. You fucking deliver what you got to do and listen, okay? Because there's no reason that they should try to be fucking funny or this, because they're not, that's not what they fucking Jesus, do. Jesus, I thought you was fucking let people have the... No, fuck them. <laughs> no, they're not. Jesus no. Christ, I you know, just no. said you're a nice guy. I said I was a nice yeah, guy? you just said, hey, when let I... people fucking say what they feel. Don't tell them they can't be funny. Because they're not. They're not. We, uh, in, some, in real life. Are, in real, no, in real fucking life. Go ahead. At a party, do you want to listen to anybody else's Hi, dribble mommy. unless they're a doctor Hi, or a lawyer? Hi, mommy. Hi, mommy. Hi, mommy. Right. So, <laughs> again. Why can't you listen to that? <laughs> that bullshit. <laughs> you think well, that's, that's hurting him? Yeah, yeah. That's hurting him. That's fucking hurting him. Yeah, there's so much deep right there. tissue now. Jeez. All right, there's you, a couple. You wish you could go up to your mommy and do that, right? And I'll get tell you what. Hi, mommy. I mommy. do. But she's Hi, mommy. A, she's Hi, she's mommy. drooling. She won't know it's me. Hi, mommy. Oh, shit. Jesus, she doesn't man. know. All right. Well, I, we're I'm gonna going take... in tomorrow to tell her fucking happy uh, holidays. She doesn't know. <laughs> I didn't go over Christmas. <laughs> she lost it. Halfway uh, thinking, uh, hey man, stop teasing Rich. And I'm halfway going to. What the fuck he is deserves going with Rich? It. He fucking deserves it.
Steve from Bayshore gets it. Yeah. Get some guys that but get it. We're getting it. so inside because Who was the I, have guy to, that, I have to listen to yeah, that. Somebody well, used like, to call know, from Bayonne that was great. Bayonne. Uh, who, who was the guy? There's some guys that any, you know. I'm, yeah, I'm yeah, talking they got it. Twitter, yeah. Twitter people from, that follow the show. Yep. Uh, people that, you know, we all got our fans that are I just wish the people not that the show fans. And right. then this shit. But, but the, the guys, we talking about the guys who are the show fans and they, they, they have... And, you, 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 they get it. Yeah. All right, we're, we're going to take one last break, and then we'll finish Funny. up. With, guys with, the, with the movie that Rich thought was great. I want to talk about True Grit, because Patrice had a great tweet about that. Maybe other movies, I don't know. And some well, other listen, shit. Where are you going to be, Rich? I'm going to be in uh, Rhode Island, Providence, this weekend at uh, Cash Rising Star. Those guys that come out all the time, they know what they're doing. And Harrisburg next week, the Comedy Zone, door deal. I need hundreds of people. <laughs> and, now, and now, the Opie and Anthony Show. Serious Harry Styles. No, 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 no. True Grit was number one at the box office. I mention that because Big Mama Prods on Twitter, a great one to follow, really, is Big Mama Prods. He he writes some funny ass shit. You and know, that would what? be Patrice O'Neill. I had a complaint about uh, some of the comics just using Twitter to, to plug gigs. It's 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 uh, it's annoying. Like comics, they're funny guys. Like Jimmy Norton, fucking guy, tweets funny shit all the time. Mm -hmm. And then it's like, oh, I'll be at this gig, I'll be doing this. Some comics, though, it's just it's like, just I had to tell Joe DeRosa, I had to tell him, I go, I'm, I'm going to stop following you. Because all you do is, is plug gigs. That's because well, he barely gets them. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh. And, and, it's, and Joe's you know, a funny guy. You he should be able to tweet some when shit. You, when you... So you put yourself out there to be yeah. ridiculed. Right, right. Some some people are tender. <laughs> They're very tender. Joe's, Joe's a sweetie puss. He really is. He's a sweetie guy. He's a sweet guy. He tries to, you know, he rolls in this mean world. But Joe's a, <laughs> Joe's a honey child. He's a funny <laughs> He's a tickly motherfucker. He really is. <laughs> he is funny, man. You know, because he's Egyptian <laughs> and shit. You know, them Egyptian people, don't, they don't have no fucking sense but, of humor. Really. But the beauty of Twitter, like, if you don't have confidence in a line you're about to tweet, I, yeah. Sometimes I'll tweet one. I'm like, I don't know if this is gonna go well, and I'll just turn all my shit off for two hours. It's all there, <laughs> and then by the time I get back, they're on to other stuff, and they're not gonna like comment on the bomb I just tweeted. Mine's always nasty but, but, or confrontational. But you know what? Those are my only tweets. <laughs> <laughs> go fuck yourself. Yeah, I enjoy. You. I enjoy my my Twitter followers because I enjoy the fact that they understand me. I, mm -hmm. I I it's a privilege and an honor to be in contact with me. On yes. any level, right? It it is. I don't. I don't give a fuck. We're not the same. We, I'm. I'm uh, in show business, right? People know me. You know what I mean? The I business have, of show. It's. I you're, mean, for real. Yeah, you get you recognized. Just, it's get, like having a phone number, and P, and you go, wait, did somebody call? It's like somebody calls you and go, you're a fat fuck, and I hope you die. And you go, oh. hey, I'm changing my phone number. I don't. <laughs> yeah, how'd you don't get my that. number? You, these people have my number. Twitter's mm -hmm. that, that's, Big Mama Prods is my phone number. So you call me, dude. You don't have to be pleasant, because I'm not a pleasant, but you have to be in my fucking realm of yeah. pleasant my shit. Don't be on your own shit. God, you just nailed it. Oh. Big Mama Prods is your fucking that's your phone radio number. is my fucking and, cell phone. And people can maybe get one call in. If you if you block them, like they at least have one call. Make it good, they can make to you. <laughs> and you only can make it. And if you're stupid, you can't use those 140 lines. That fuck it. No. It, boop. If you if, fuck it, after no. that 140 things, you, you're a. <laughs> Goodbye. How long does it take to block 11,000 people? <laughs> <laughs> Listen, let's go back to that quote from uh, Patrice. So True Grit finally beat out the little fuckers at the box office because we've decided on the show we're not playing the game. It's fuckers, little fuckers. No, I'm uh, but this is what Patrice tweeted about True Grit. I thought it was brilliant. True Grit is the best boring movie ever made. Two hours of wow, this should suck, but it held me. Who's in True Grit? Five stars or one star? I don't, I don't know. know. I, uh, that's a that's a, a brilliant tweet. Mm. Uh, Jeff Bridges I, I was good. It, oh. it was phenomenal. Look, it, I, I'm I'm addicted to the uh, other than the fact they don't have niggas in none of their movies. <laughs> I'm addicted to those two brothers. Coen brothers. Those Coen brothers make great. They know films. how to make a good. Mm. I love their movies, but this one was. Afterwards, I went, huh? Mm. What happened? This is, but it, it reminded me the same way uh, it hit me how I've seen Unforgiven 50 times. Yeah. And I still Loved go... Loved Unforgiven. I still go, I don't... 
<laughs> what what, what's the lesson I'm learning here? I don't know what this is. It's just <laughs> it's dribble, but it's fantastic. Yeah, it, True Grit was just it, the, the little girl was one of the best child performers in a yeah, movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've ever seen. She was phenomenal. Yep, really when she good. played this little asshole. Yeah, little this fucking little tough cunt. <laughs> Western. Yes, a cunt was yeah, what she yeah. was, she was really and cunty. she was excellent. Uh, yeah. Usually kids bug me in movies, uh, but she was so good. And Jeff Bridges was, uh, I, you know, he's going to get an Oscar uh, nomination. Yeah, I think so, yeah. Um, yeah. They underused Barry Pepper. They underused... Barry Pepper's really good. I mean, good. spoiler yeah. alert, motherfucker. They, under, they underused uh, uh, Brolin. Yeah, yeah. Um, They overused Matt Damon. Yep. And it, it, it's just, it you was, it was un... Head. It was unceremonious it was just like you know like barry peppers was supposed to be a bad motherfucker like, yeah what was and his bad motherfuckerness was it just there was, wasn't enough you're right there wasn't enough of him i tell you what it was here it is it was well, like watching the actual west <laughs> <laughs> the it actual was like west. watching how the west really actually was <laughs> with boring shit and you get shot and you need to ride really fast to the hospital. Because <laughs> the Western guns never really sh killed you right there. <laughs> you had to ride as fast as you can to the local... <laughs> to get to someone that's going to fucking it, patch it, you up. It just was strange, that move, but I enjoyed it. I, I liked it. it. I thought... I thought it, uh, it it was it was very reminiscent of the old time western, and done up like there wasn't there was an old the CGI or anything like that. It was guys in, on horses fucking having some gunfights and and smart ass remarks and shit. Uh, that's why I liked it. I fucking it was. I gotta see it. Like I, my favorite western of all time is uh, is pro is probably the good, the bad, and the ugly. It's probably Silverado. Mm, it, it, yeah, it's because good. there's a Element of not the West. No, five mm. ten to whatever. To Yuma, whatever that fucking the, the remake <laughs> that you five ten to five ten to Yuma. That the new you know, one. That was a good one. <laughs> five ten to Yuma was. Uh, you, whatever the fuck it was. <laughs> God <laughs> damn, was that good? <laughs> he just. But that would make sense in the disappointment. The, 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 the six fifteen to, <laughs> to to Allentown. To, to Plurmore. <laughs> he just just a ten. <laughs> what? I don't even know three the real name of the movie three now. Ten to like, it was three ten. Oh. Okay. It was it was Russell. Oh, did you say five ten to Yuma? Five ten to Yuma. <laughs> Yuma be there. I know what's know what's great. I, over. I was watching you and Aunt discuss True Grit. Uh, uh, actually, I wasn't watching you because I knew you guys had a great handle on it. I was looking at Rich to see how he would fuck it up. <laughs> well, no, and he, he did. said the good Western. But I you gave went five ten to Yumo because this is Opie. <laughs> it was a while why, ago. I haven't seen why, it in a while. This is why I swear to God I'm going to work hard. I think I'm coming out of retirement because I'm going to fuck. I'm putting Voss on because here's why that what that what he did. Voss didn't prepare. He just wanted in. No, I didn't. That's so what I was watching to see what he would do. Time. He wants Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. To think of he, because he doesn't give a fuck no, about no. the seven twelve to Schenectady. <laughs> he doesn't care. Okay, how about He's maybe not in the conversation? Why don't you? Well, first of all, we really it, like True Grit, quit, quit. and we're getting ready to go into a place where. where oh Jesus! Okay, wait, me, we're getting ready me, to go. Me. I'm we trying get ready to get go. in because you don't to shut go. the fuck up. We get ready to go. But, <laughs> but we were... No, no, yeah, no. What he said. Good fucking yes, point. it is a good point. What he said. Transfer what he... to Mako to Penn Station. <laughs> <laughs> 510 to Penn Station. Transfer to Mako. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here's the thing. What, what do you, do you like about it? 310 to Yuma? Thank you. Say what do I like one. about it? Yes, because you had to, like, jump well, in on it. Well, one here's... Now, I, I bet you don't even know what the fucking movie was about. <laughs> now, you're talking about psychological? <laughs> yeah. Page one of the horseshit manual. <laughs> <laughs> the horse what shit, man. did you like about 310 to Yuma? I you know. Have, what did well, I, I mean, tell you? The what best, did I the like main thing about thing about I Oh no, five ten. He said five ten. I'll to tell you the main thing. What I did you like about five ten? For an hour and forty five minutes, I didn't have to talk to Bonnie. 
We could just sit and watch it. Nothing on that one. What I liked was... Why do you beat her up so much? Because you're the short end of the stick of that relationship. I'm the short end of every stick. (laughs) What are you doing to poor Bonnie? She can't even defend herself. That's why he beats her up. (laughs) (laughs) He doesn't want to realize. (laughs) Why did I let this motherfucker ruin everything? She made a giant mistake. (laughs) Uh, You made a giant mistake marrying Bonnie? No, she's great. Here's my favorite movie. That I've seen recently. in months recently. What I said before. Three t- no, no. Don't let them leave. No, no. Five ten to Yuma. Yeah, I don't even know if you know what, the, what was Yuma. The, what, don't let him talk what his way out of five ten to Yuma. What's the Russell Crowe yeah. was first of all was fucking. Get the actual synopsis of this movie. And, what? I'm shutting my mouth, but this motherfucker, man, go ahead. It was a while ago. Rich, in what I liked. I've about, seen Silverado no, no, no. came out in '87. Yeah. Fuck, fuck what you liked about it. What? Give. In one minute, explain 510 to Yumo to everybody. <laughs> in one minute? Yumo. One minute. What was the movie about? That's all I want right a now for you. A guy on a mission. A what? A guy on a mission. He's not gonna, we're not going <laughs> to let you off the hook. A guy on a mission. That's every movie ever made. <laughs> well, that's, you know what? That's how I look at it. I mission. keep things simple. What was it about? <laughs> I don't break them down. And then okay, we're, and I'll then give you my synopsis. Have the actual storyline. Like, give me the storyline of 510 to Yumo. If I say Silverado... Well, is my favorite western. I was going to go into why, why it's your favorite western. Why? Well, because you're a Five better man ten. than me, and you probably do. You man. probably do much better on par sixes. What I'm saying oh, is, oh, fucking see. Winter's Bone. Okay, I just but saw see, Winter's yeah, Bone. Shut up. And now I know, and I learned par six is ridiculous. Yes, but there are courses that have par six. Yeah, like rich. two in the country. But it doesn't matter. You'll never. Now you'll but never again. I did again. not poke my mouth out saying. I didn't go. Very rare. <laughs> Car six, motherfucker. I can't, you he know what? interrupted and with the confidence of an asshole said, five tens of yummy. They said, <laughs> they said, what was your, listen, when they said, what was your favorite Western, okay. By the way, it's ten. No one asked that. You just yes, came yes. in with it. No, no, it's, he said, what's ten your ten favorite? right now. Okay. It's ten to ten well, right now. Well, Winter's Bone, so. I'll tell you, because I just saw what I liked. No, we're not letting you off. The, no, five ten to you. Because I don't remember. All I know is I liked it. But Winter's Bone, All right, the listen. characters, now, the characters he's going in the movie, to the just characters. Just talk about a movie that he fucking knows. You're you right. know, Jaws. Okay, Days of Wine and Roses. If, Here's the thing. What? Winner's Bone, I know that you? movie. Winner's Bone, the casting in that, the what? characters. Is this a How recent did movie? We leave right. oh, you know from what? Yuma. <laughs> I, have, I, I have confidence enough to allow him to get past the 510 to Yuma. Okay. What's this new movie? It's not new. It's on video. How, I just saw how old is it? it? It's in 2010. It's All up right, for Golden Globes. relatively new movie. Yeah. Tell us the storyline of this movie Winter's you like. Bone. What I like, and, and get the I'll, real tell story I, line, I'll tell you what I like. No, first I'll tell you what I like. The cast, the characters, one. Oh you, my god! You you didn't even think they were actors. You thought they just picked this them up. This is stock movie artists. review shit. What is the storyline of the movie that you liked that you that, saw recently that you didn't have time to forget? Huh? What's the movie about? <laughs> the movie's about a girl trying to find the truth about her dad. Okay trying to find the truth about her dad, and she's holding her family together at 17 years old, and the girl's going to win an Oscar for it, okay? Chick flick. No, it's not. No? no I'm telling you, it's Danny, a good fucking movie. we got the storyline for that? Okay. What it's is a, the fucking movie I just about? I just told you. No, we're going with the other one now. His, uh, Winter oh, what? Winter's Bone. And get Ryan Starr in here. He's going to play us out there. Winter's Bone? Yeah. Winter's Bone. I'm telling you, if you watch the movie... All right, what'd you say? A 17-year-old girl? Mm. Yeah, she's trying to hold her family together. Her mom's fucking bugged out, got mental issues. The dad is fucking... Hi, Mommy. Is dead Hi, somewhere. Mommy. <laughs> Hi, Mommy. Dead somewhere. Okay. <laughs> he can't listen. Voss takes the headphones off every time he can't listen to that. Right. Okay. <laughs> this, is that the real story? Patrice, would you do yeah, me the pleasure yes, of reading the real it. story? That's line, what I just which said. Which seems a little different than what Rich no. just said. Family intact. I just An said that. An unflinching Ozark mountain girl hacks uh-huh. through dangerous social terrain as she hunts down her drug dealing father while trying to keep her family. Just intact. watch what uh, watch the movie. Missed, I guess it. He missed a few the things. I had a reason to watch the movie. Listen. First of all, he, he, enough wait, of Voss analyzing is, me. We're not listen, analyzing you. Listen, I got Voss, a fucking seven thousand dollar Rolex. Voss, Go Voss, fuck yourself. It's we, like Voss goes. <laughs> let me tell you something. Uh, three plus three oh, is here, six. Here, or three plus three is ten. Yeah. And we go, Voss, it's six. And he goes, 
See, I see what you're doing. You're attacking me. <laughs> no, no. Vosh, uh, 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 an unflinching Ozark Mountain girl. Yeah. Th what you said made me sick, and I'm not going to go see it. Hunts down. You hunts down her hunts drug down. dealing father <laughs> while trying to keep her family intact. You're the reason I, I don't want him to change Huck Finn. Because of what? Because of... Oh, nothing. Oh, the... <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, I had to go back to Mark Twain? <laughs> Did you just use... Come on. You didn't think that was a good fuck. Uh, no, come on. Get the fuck out of like here. I'm just like you. I read know. this in... <laughs> since, since I was a baby. They're changing it. They're changing it. We know. But what does that have to do with how... This is exactly <laughs> while girl. trying to keep her father. And her, she's hunting down her father, trying to keep you didn't her. Say that. Uh, big deal because I said she didn't cut. Trying to, to learn the truth about her father. Yeah, that's what I said. Yeah, I know. She and that's okay. Fine. Okay, said, but watch. It's I'm not, right. not trying to find the yes, truth about her father. She's her hunting father's a down drug dealing asshole. Dealing father. Is he alive or is he dead? I don't want to uh, give you the ending. It, it, a big oh, deal. She, so, she, so I didn't say she's going through the, she's going through bushes in the mountains. <laughs> big deal. That's not the fucking plot. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking guys, you Dude, know. Dude, you, hey, you, no, you do no, it to no. yourself, Rich. What's Rich, that? But we that, you did start you this said, with saying I like five ten to you, Mo. Let's not forget. Okay. That. Did you hear what he just said? What he just said something that in his in his like his the whole thing of his defense defending himself. He said a line in it that he threw away as if it was it, it was mediocre. Yeah, and it was irrelevant. But it made it. What you want me to tell you that she's fucking running through the woods hunting down a dad? Yes. So what is it, why, yeah. Why does it matter where she's? What does that it matter? For me to go see the fucking movie, you don't have Mars. To, you have to go. It's, Rich, it's we, on video. Did you hear? I even said. I even said. It sounds like a chick flick. Right. right. The it's way not. you described it. We know like it's not a chick flick. Chick flick. Because we got the actual like story. Because I'm, I'm, I'm only coming here alone like from now on. It sounded like a fucking. No, just watch the movie. I was. I'm right. the whole town. Who? Oh, uh, Aunt was telling about a movie. I forgot the name, mm. but you was the guy. Oh shit, Lenny Marcus. The guy, the guy put. <laughs> the oh guy fucking that maniac guy. What? It's like Rampage. Is Rampage. that the name? It's called yeah. Rampage. I ran to get that movie that day as soon yeah. as I heard the description <laughs> so of the movie. Twisted. Like that was a great movie. Yes. Yeah, well, I want to see this movie. We, he's not a movie critic. Yes, oh. he is. He's a guy who watches a movie that you think. No. I, wait, you think I should see the movie? Uh, you, not by what I, not by, not by my description. <laughs> and he just throws himself in the shitter. But see it. That's, that's the last no, thing on. he does. That's yeah, the last thing. What, what's up, Ryan? One. That's there the, that, How you doing? In, How you doing, man? In the end, that's what you do, Rich. What's that? You just give up and throw yourself in the shitter. What the fuck? Yeah. Just go see the movie. What the fuck? But we want to know why we should see the movie. And you fail miserably. Because I'll say it again because a lot of people are talking. And goes... Oh, that sounds like a chick flick, which makes people go, yeah, I ain't seeing that horse shit. Then we fucking see the real storyline and go, it seems like There's it's a really good down movie. Going okay, on. well, maybe you know what? I'm not a fucking movie critic. All it's I'm just to be a movie critic. critic. No, you just got to be able to describe huh? something. Winter's Bone, did you see it? Oh, no. Yeah. Oh, all right. Star didn't see that. No, nah, Black Swan. No, uh, no but I'm looking at that. Black Hippo now. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, damn. You know what You're getting, uh, He's getting desperate. He's going to the no, fat But yeah, that yeah. was fucking actually good. Yeah. Oh, thank you for but validating he is, it. He is really... You're not even a Hall of Famer if you was a baseball player. You're fucking one for a thousand. <laughs> really? You went after how I talk and that and really... Really? That's been done two million times. Really? Really? That's stock Voss. Okay? okay. He's like stock Patrice. Yeah, no. he's... All right, so I, I, but when he does it, it's okay. Let me tell you something. You two are fucking... I defended yeah, you a lot today. Let me tell you, he, he, you tried to. Why you put Because I hate you and I don't want to hear it. <laughs> this, is, this is keeping the fucking sound out. He I should have done this earlier. He doesn't want to put a winter coat on, but you're going to put a headband on. Oh, let's find what's wrong with him for that. But why don't you just get Hold on coat? this fucking garage band guys in here. Let him fucking sing his song. Oh, Jesus, whoever the fuck he is, I know he, he's probably voted for fucking Obama. You can tell he's got a rainbow decal. I'm sorry, I'm just... I'm one of the three. I, got, I got the same necklace. Oh, you do? I'm sorry. I, I can, oh, really? Yeah, I'm like not going to make fun of me. I'm yeah, sorry. So you like, you like your fellow tribe. Jew. I, I like a Jew My. like him because he's not a typical Jew. That's why I like him. <laughs>
What's the you got tattoos? Typical no tattoos. Oh, fuck. Hey, but my beard tats? makes me look like a rabbi, no? Look at this. Huh? Yeah, I love no, my it looks, makes you look like a terrorist. <laughs> you got a little rabbi beard. It does, right? Kinda. People people think I look bit. like a Ryan Ryan Ryan's been a he's been a friend of the show for a while. No, I know. He's got a new fucking good. I listen to him all the time. You can beat him up. He understands that shit. But he, uh, he's, uh, he's going to, you know, uh, he's going to sing us out in a minute. Uh, Brian, are you going to be in Harrisburg? Not this weekend, next weekend? Because I'm at the Comedy Zone. <laughs> no, but I like Harrisburg. I've been there. Mm. Yeah, I'm going to be at Webster Hall in New York City, though, January uh, 18th. Fuck. Yeah, That's he's, nice. He's Good. starting to fucking move, man. That's what I'm saying. Roland, he's, he's starting to move here. up the charts, right? Huh? here. You guys are like the first guys ever to have me on the air. I wouldn't yeah, put that on my resume. <laughs> <laughs> it, it didn't help Voss. I think we pretty much were what the first radio show fucking, ever did. Are you kidding? I just do this out of fucking dysfunction. <laughs> you know what? Uh, uh, before we uh, stop talking about movies, but we did already, but I don't care. No, let's keep uh, going. The, uh, I'm, I'll be thrown under the bus for this, but it was a funny fucking movie. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. If, oh, I know what he's going to say. Uh, it stunk. What? The one with fucking where there were cops. The did other you, guys. Oh, uh, you laughed at that? Yes, I did. Oh, I really hope I, your gun backfires. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I didn't see it. You like the other guys? I, I, I haven't seen it yet. You know what? Give us a, give us a fucking funny, funny. Something funny out of it. Now no, listen really? how he explains why it was, was funny, Rich. You can learn something funny. today. You know why? Mark oh, Wahlberg. Thanks. Mark he Wahlberg was funny. is almost doing a Dirk Diggler character in this fucking movie, and it's uh, it, it's it's the typical kind of cop movie with the the hero cops. And then there's the guys in the background. This is the story about the guys in the background. So Sam Jackson the, and the and oh, the Rock. I see. I see. They're like the okay, hero cops. The concept is already interesting. Yeah, they, yeah. The, 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 We've the all the seen cops. the cop. And then there's the smartest guys in the room. You know, in the in the detective. You know, the, 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 cops, the squad. Oh, it's like Starsky and Hutch. You know what? Then it's the other dudes. It's the other guys. Uh, Voss. Okay. You know say, no, not, I, I know you think I'm against you. No, yeah, really. But the, it, the, already, are you thinking he's against Anthony? No, he's against me. He's doing this already, with Anthony. No, to make me look like I'm telling you, I know already, what he's Already, the I don't concept think so. of that the concept is, is different. Oh, really? interesting because they're talking about the dudes who aren't Starsky who aren't and Hutch. The guys, that's not right. funny to you already. That's not listen, interesting. Listen to me. This is what I'm held listening. the movie together. Okay. Mark Wahlberg was fucking. He was his character was Very great. Funny, yeah. but it you was said great. You didn't like the movie okay. when no, Anne said I, it. you can still like a character or like you. Can, you don't have to like a movie to like. Uh, all right. Now I'm not going to see it. Good. It's in the, it's on video. Yo, I've listened to this show for years. I can't believe you guys aren't talking about Black Swan. That I thought would be the topic of conversation. Uh, right now. I didn't see it directly. Supposedly, Best. people are telling me to go see no. this fucking movie. It's, it's, it's a chick flick, isn't it? No, chick flick. Let me tell you something. Yeah. Let me tell you something. Scene. So, some some Crazy some will say, "Oh my god, bitches. I just watched a ballet movie." It's not a ballet movie. The best masturbation scene ever recorded on film in the history of who's film. doing a Natalie Portman? Right. Right. Natalie Portman. Yeah, Natalie Portman. She's a hot. She's and she's one of the tribes. Yeah, she's yeah, a queen yeah. of the juice. When you yeah. Wait, you're not gonna ruin the. the you're juice. not gonna ruin it for no. us. Uh, why no, is she? Why you did she go see it? But why is she making the best uh, masturbation? It's incredible. Have I mean, because she does things that you go. I didn't know they do it like that. You know, like oh, you this just, guy. You know, well, he's really crazy. focused because he don't watch porn. Because <laughs> have you ever? I, I, I saw a great me. masturbation I, scene I, in the. Fuck. Have you, I, have you yeah, ever? I, and, I, she used, and she used Hold that on. guitar you had. <laughs> Put it the other guys. <laughs> Anthony, why was the so? It's, it's the story of the guys in the background. Yeah, yeah, hey. and and they slowly, of course, you know, they got to go with the Pat story of they get Eventually involved they in heroes. a big crime and they have to uh, deal with it, but. Um, Will Farrell is is funny in it, but he, you know he's not a good cop, and it's them two kind of bumbling their way around. And uh, there's some there's some very funny uh, parts and funny lines. Can I have very the copy? Awkward. Did Wahlberg is. Wahlberg. I uh, no, I think it's available on uh, on demand. Have you ever masturbated? Yeah. yeah. Have you ever masturbated watch it tonight? and go like you get so excited when you're masturbating right before, and you think to yourself, all right, maybe I'll just taste a little of it right right before, but after you come, you go, I can't do it. You know, have you ever tried? Have you ever no, thought about I mean, it? No, I really you never. You never thought I, just to I, see what it would I, taste I, like? No, no. no. Have you ever thought, to, for real, I've be never, for real? I've, I've, gone d I've gone down on a girl after I've shot in her. <laughs> No, I've never done that, but but, but, yeah. but but I wouldn't like stick my tongue way deep in. I just lick the clit, but you could still taste a little tang. There. No, but the, the the dirtiness of shooting a load on your stomach. You think? No, I'm not going to shoot a load on my stomach and eat it. What the fuck? Well, I, mean, I, mean, I never have. I never have. But you never thought about it, and then no. you get. No. Oh, okay. <laughs> I, I like <laughs> Voss has a I minute never... number, <laughs> a very minute but... number of 
of shit he know about. <laughs> yeah. And he gonna segue I, into this well, he was fucking talking about masturbating. No matter what. Tasting. <laughs> he's he, talking about masturbating. Like you blaming them for your minute. career, though. People, but here's the thing. <laughs> My career is hey, great. Oh, hey, hey, he fucking... Oh, here we go. And wait a some minute, more. though. It's not, I'm just saying. All right, doctor, we let's go. We go from the highest levels of psych psychologically profiling people... Mm -hmm. To just basic, hey, what you see at the movies? <laughs> and he can't even say what he saw at the fucking movies. If we really did run the gamut of, of <laughs> intellectual talk to, to just... You Nothing. think he comes in here at water I taste cooler my shit, cum. and he had to like, throw in, I taste my it. cum. I got talking about hold hold on. You think he comes in with just five things he wants to get That's out, it. Three. and he just Three. waits and I waits. I implore you. To go through Voss's file. He was in a hotel. And see girl. if he talks about anything other than I'm five subjects. <laughs> Don't run, bitch. Sit down. Rich. I'm standing, ho. And Rich, Sit down. I'm standing. <laughs> Rich, you are you are you are great on this show, but I'm never able to explain why you're great to anybody. Wow. I'll say it. Oh, really? Like how, a, about, how about the time when no, you're the true grit of because comedians? You, can, yes, you yes. can't just break it down. You you're can't. Hold guy. on, hold on. You can't break it down. <laughs> yeah, you, can't, you can't break it down to people and go, because he's really funny. It's way more than that with you in this show. You're funny, absolutely. Okay. But the reason the you're great line. on this show, I can't explain to anybody. They have to hear it for themselves. I'll tell you why. I, and I've never said this. Voss is truly dumb. <laughs> <laughs> All right, there you go. I didn't we just today. explained it. <laughs> it's honest dumb. That is honest. It's he is real. As on, he's as it's real dumb as you fucking can get. I got more money than you. I don't know that. I do. Brad Axelrod didn't tell me that. Oh, oh shit. shit. That's he doesn't Back take your Brad. calls. <laughs> I don't take Brad Axelrod. You just work for him. Shut up. I didn't take his calls. You just work for him. <laughs> and even though he's been around for whatever years, he's... There's an innocence to him. It is. Rich has an innocence. But a mean, and he's like... How is that possible with he's all like the shit you He's like through? a retard with a knife. Like, he'll just say some <laughs> shit like, I got more money than you! Like, I don't, I don't. that's just like a retarded man <laughs> taking a swing with a knife! <laughs> I'm going to see the other guys. I saw the social network over the weekend. See Winter's Bone. Oh, is that the social network? Loved it. Can I have it? Can I borrow it? Are you Come sure on, it's not please. Summer's Bone? Oh, Let's out. make sure that it's the right uh, Summer's Bone. It comes out tomorrow. Because somebody's out there looking for five, ten to, <laughs> to, yummy, to, 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 <laughs> to candy yams. <laughs> <laughs> he said 510 to you. 711 to Yahtzee. Yeah. <laughs> I think we're done. Uh, but we do have Ryan Starr. I'm sorry. It's been a crazy day. I love it. Right, so love what, it. what have you been up to really quickly there, Ryan? I've been uh, touring my ass off since... Are you, uh, are you starting to make it? Because I don't know. This guy Roland, does fucking you know, tons of No, that. Roland says you are. I yeah, do. man. No, no. Yeah, right. You're I moving got up the charts? Top 20 on radio right now. You, get, you can play a second of it, man. Start a fire. It's no, called... You know what I'll do for That's you? That's the new song. Top 20 on regular radio. Oh, I want you to play. Yeah, yeah. I, I want you to play some live, and then we'll end with uh, right, right, what's perfect. moving up the charts. This, uh, this but no, no, hold might... on. Yeah, we'll get... yeah, I was going to tell you. you a minute. I was going to tell you about the song, man. But, but you got a CD <laughs> out? I do. It's called Eleven Fifty Nine. Came out a to few yummy. months back. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> it came out uh, a few months back, <laughs> and uh, it's been torn my butt off, man. And you uh, married, dude? I am. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Oh. Interesting. Lots changed. Took yourself Lots off changed. the market there, huh? Did you get married before the fame? Uh, it's a continuous, uh, oh, you know, a Jewish up. girl or a non Jew? Girl, Long Island girl, man. From the hood. Uh -oh. You're lucky, man. Wait, what, what town? Uh oh. Where I grew up, Huntington. Oh, yeah, that's okay. Right. <laughs> I thought you were going to say <laughs> Bayshore. Is the racist over there? Top of the town. Well, racist yeah. over there? <laughs> nah, hey, the honey, Long Island Expressway uh, chops Long Island. There's racist. Yeah. Huntington is good. <laughs> yeah. It's a yeah, racist. The Expressway is the Mason Dixon line. But no, seriously, man, we had a song on VH1. It was on the top 20 on VH1 for a while. A song called Breathe that. Uh, actually, it was a very New York video. We got right. real unemployed people to uh, be in the video and you try getting them find. work by setting up a website for them. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> you know, you know, it's it's funny. Shit. It's just, uh, I get out there and I see so much, so many people using the, using these opportunities for such 
you know, nonsense that it was nice to be able to do something positive. That's I like the funny. nonsense myself. But now it's the, yeah, now Why should he waste yeah. all his horse shit on marriage? Yeah. You know how much <laughs> fucking spiritual pussy this guy can get? Spiritual pussy. <laughs> fucking the from bitches, that's like, oh, tell me that. bitches yeah, with man. fur hats and fucking <laughs> yum, 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 they mom, Fuck. bunch of Buddhist pussy. You know how much <laughs> Buddhist pussy is <laughs> fucking full of shit, motherfucker. The Jewish Billy <laughs> Jack. <laughs> <laughs> this motherfucker! <laughs> God damn, I'm jealous of this guy. All right, fucking let's hear this music, man. This is going somewhere, not just on my stomach. You God know what damn it, son of a bitch! All right, he just smashed you. Huh? He just smashed you. No, he no, smashed no, talking you. To you. Oh, he just oh smashed me. God. Fucking boss, man. You thought he was smashing Patrice, and he was smashing he, you. He's basically he's not a smasher. No. Even if he was, he's saying, "Hey, I love my wife, and at least it's not going to bullshit." He goes, "My cum, <laughs> my cum is oh, going it's, inside it's, and it's, not on my stomach." He meant it's, it was cum because you were you eating your own cum. You cum eater. Now, Ryan Star, why don't you play a song? So, so this song is called Brand New Day, and it's uh, it's actually the theme song to a show called Lie to Me. On yeah, Fox. On Fox. Have you seen that? Yeah. Oh, so. okay. very cool. Ryan Star, you do that you one. You have the thing, Lie to Me. Lie to Me, man. With uh, Tim. Tim that? Roth. Tim, Tim Roth. Okay. And uh, it just won some of those. What was it? What people? Uh, last week, People's Choice Awards. People's Choice Award. Yeah, I was psyched to see that. Yeah. And this song is the okay. It's the theme song. song. It's called Brand New Day. Dream, send me a sign, turn back the clocks, give me some time. I've stayed in one place for too long, gotta get on the run again. I saw the one thing that I want, hell bent, get out of bed. I'm throwing rocks at your window, you're tying the bed sheets together. They say that we're dreaming too big, but I say this town's too small. Dream, send me a sign, turn back the clocks, give me some time. I need to break out and make a new name. Let's open our eyes to the brand new day. It's a brand new day I've taken hits like a brawler But I'm getting back up again And from the moment I saw her I was hell bent with heaven's sands I'm throwing rocks at your window We're leaving this place together we're flying too high, we'll get used to looking up Dreams, send me a sign and Turn back the clocks, give me some time I need to break out and make a new name Let's open our eyes to the brand new day It's a brand new day Come on to the brand new day yeah. I know it's a brand new end Dream, send me a sign And turn back the clocks Give me some time, time I need to break out And make a new name Let's open our eyes to the brand new day It's a brand new day It's a brand new day Star. Shit. That's talent because Jesus. you're singing that to dudes. <laughs> I know. What the hell you so do? awkward for all of us. Like but... 10 in the morning also. Yeah. Jesus Christ. How, how do you show passion like that in front of dudes? <laughs> That's why he's fucking, he pays no attention to dudes. Yeah, yeah exactly. Uh, he, he just closes his eyes I and just fucking does it. I, I, I take the dude seriously. All weekend, I've, it was ESPN, all the ESPN stuff, they've been playing some of my tunes there too. Jesus and it's, uh, so, so yeah. you try to get the dudes, try to get the girls, and you try to get the grandmas. It's See? perfect yeah, equation. I mean, no shit. That's I'll original shit there. That's not some Long Island shit you've been doing, okay? That's fucking some <laughs> real deal. <laughs> Long Island shit that I've been uh, doing. You know, whatever you do, you get on stage with your cowboy. 
Bell or whatever the fuck you do. <laughs> oh, say, go fuck yourself. That was real. That was real. Listen, Why are you taking he just, he And do you really hate me? I no, not at all. Okay. Yeah, I just got the oh, best tweet out of all of them today. Can you tweet me? Well, well this guy. At Ryan Starr, come on. This fucking guy, when a black dude was beating his kid, I go, his pants are down. The guy goes, that's because his belt is off beating the kid. Get it? Anyhow, what I'm saying is, it was a good tweet. It was a good tweet. That's some crazy tweets. Wait, was that your tweet? No, some guy sent it to me. It was funny, though. Brian Starr, what are you on Twitter? It's at Ryan Star. At Ryan Star. One R, by the way, S T A R. And uh, okay. it's, so you should see the difference in my Twitters to his Twitters. That's really? some crazy. Even, even mm. guys that are the nicest guys want to come in and fuck with me. I'm telling them how great he is. No, I'm not, I'm not saying not, anything about you. I'm just saying uh, no, those Twitters. See, you always think so you always wow. think it's about you. I feel like He's <laughs> saying Look that it. his I'm, tweets are fucked. He your doesn't necklace. have shitty tweets. He has, guy, he has people only oh. do supportive tweets. To, is what he's saying. What I'm saying you, is, I love Foss his music. Voss feels like he's being burnt by a, I, a crack I feel pipe like, look, all the time. Yeah. I can't. I, 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 I'm so fucking numb. I can't well, even hear right? what people are saying. No. <laughs> you're no, not right. I'm not. No. Sit next to him for fucking three hours. Fuck you, man. No. you know what? Yeah, yeah. Mr. Victim. What? He's Mr. Victim. I'm not a victim. From now on, you can role, only come ever. in when he's here because you guys haven't been together in a while. We haven't been together. Bobby is so much easier. It was great right here. <laughs> All right, we got to get out of here. Uh, Rich, where are you going to be? I'm going to uh, play uh, another one from Ryan as we uh, leave. But. I'll be in uh, uh, Rhode Island this weekend, catch Rise Star, Harrisburg next week in the Comedy Zone. But more important, he'll be at Webster Hall, and you'll see some real good shit from him. You're coming, right? Uh, on my stomach. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. I didn't even set that up. That uh, was, you guys that are the 2011 <laughs> Abbott and Costello. <laughs> okay. and I, hold on. Stinky wants to oh, say something. Jesus Christ. Oh, <laughs> what comedian did you say he looks like? No, Stinky was the other one. I know. No, I know. Oh, uh, but the oh, other line, I, I kind of like that line. That's all. Oh, good. I get to leave on I like the line. Well, because I know I don't feel like getting a phone call from you later. Oh, oh really? So I'll do it now. Uh, no, that was really good. You did that. <laughs> <laughs> Patrice knows. <laughs> no phone calls today. You it's did just, great. I'm, I'll say it live in front of everyone. You, you did wasn't great. Ma you wasn't mad classic. at me when I said that thing when I said it. Even though Obi had called him retarded for an hour and a half of the show. You deserve what you did, bro. You deserve it. You deserve it, man. I'm on your side, dude. I'm telling you, I'm out of retirement now. <laughs> All right. Oh, Patrice is out of retirement. Because I'm going to fucking make it for Patrice, calls. Patrice, are you promoting anything? Big Mom I got prods. February 19th, my special comes out. I was at the taping, and this thing's going to do really well, man. I'm telling you. And then you get the DVD out with all the other DVD stuff. DVD comes right at, with uh, 45 minutes of content, Not, some extra no. this, extra that. And oh, they're yeah, going yeah, yeah, yeah. to put my first special in there, too, as a little bonus. Yeah, the first cool. one they did in, I did in like 2001. You get a little taste of that? A little bit? A taste? Nah, they bought me like a goddamn... <laughs> they bought Shit. me for pennies on the dollar, nigga. They gonna That's make... It. <laughs> somebody gonna, gonna buy money. some... Kind of, I hope so. Look, I'll trade in being able to fill up Albany fucking <laughs> Philharmonic with their three seats. If I go to Albany, I just want to get some people to come to see me if I'm going to Albany. <laughs> yeah. That's it. So yeah. Comedy Central can keep the change, nigga. As long as they fucking, it's you promotion, know, do yeah. something. You know what I'm saying? All so right. that's it. And uh, Ryan... Um, you want me to just play the disc? Yeah, Make man. Get play. easy for you this today. This new song, "Start a Fire." Start a fire. And, and uh, how do they get this? How do who get what? I'm trying to promote you. <laughs> how do who oh, the get people. What? The yeah. people. <laughs> my friends the out there. The fans. It's uh, it's on my album. My album's called Eleven Fifty Nine. It's on iTunes and stores now. Right. And uh, I promise you, uh, my man over here, give you a money back guarantee if you don't like it. I promise you, like like the album. All right, good. Ryan Starr. And, uh, Webster Hall, January 18th. Fucking just blowing up right in front of our eyes. We'll play Fucking this was, and we'll see you guys great tomorrow. Shit, man, that made me like music again. <laughs> so you the song, man. I remember when you said your father's asleep. I remember swimming as our clothes drifted off to sea. Drinking up.
between your legs you know it well better than the back of your hand you know what it's capable of you know its limits if you could get a little more performance out of it a little extra power wouldn't you so put bell ray high performance motor oil into your bike and get more out of it bell ray flex your engine you don't fuck a bitch who thinks she can be number one. I cheat on my girl, it's with fat bitches that know what my girl look like and go, Number two is good, even number three. three, 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 three. I've been saying, look, I'm a decent motherfucker. Just because I want some side pussy, just because I want other, other pussy as, as opposed to yours, doesn't make me evil. Dudes want side pussy. You're never going to meet a girl whose timing ain't broken. You know what I'm saying? I said her pussy smell like mini burgers. Ooh, your girl looks better than me. What women do have to understand is that we look. That's a part of our soul. We don't bleed every month. We don't fucking sit down to pee. We don't pop babies out. The one thing that we suffer with is when we're committed. And, and women should understand what commitment is. It's, it's a commitment to us not commitment to them it's a commitment that i can be a, not a piece of shit one day in my life um that it doesn't solve the problem of strange twat everywhere one side pussy we don't have the tools to 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 fight young delicious women that say say, say patrice i want to fuck you bad first of all any <laughs> bitch who doesn't want her asshole licked is an asshole side pussy don't be such a pussy, go get some side. Ooh, take it from me. My ass is a guarantee. Your side pussy. You hear how delicious that sounded? Ooh, I'll be your fucky. I'm not too hard to leave. Your side pussy. Don't be such a pussy, go get some side. That's how Harlem got hooked on heroin in the 20s. They give you the uncut dope, and then soon as you go. Don't be such a pussy, go get some side. 